Hello everyone to He Makes Me Play. Uh, this is where I, I'm Marius, hi. Uh, I make Vincent, my friend, hi. play video games. Yes, say hello Vincent. Hello Vincent. See, I make him not only play games, but also say things that I want him to say. Uh, the the uh, sort of special thing we got going here is that I am blind, I cannot see. Uh, I used to be able to see, and I played a lot of video games when I did. Uh, maybe it's good that I can no longer see them, so I don't waste my time playing video <laughs> games. However, now I am making Vincent play certain things for me. Because there was this game that came out, Disco Elysium, and I heard a lot of good things about it, and one day Vincent came up to me and said, uh, hey, I kind of need you to play this game, uh, and I can kind of do it for you. Uh, and then we thought, hey, that's great, let's get a bunch of microphones and stuff, and that's a different story, but uh, here we are, recording it. And um, this is going to be, I think, interesting because uh, there will be a lot of describing from Vincent, which maybe oh, yes. uh, you're not used to from other, like, Let's Plays and playthroughs and stuff. So this might be a fun thing to keep running in the background without uh, you losing track of stuff. So. Vincent, that was my little intro. Should we just get into it? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm really excited about this game. Uh, just so everybody knows, I have played about the first 40 minutes, maybe. Um, so I do know a little bit about the game. Marius is completely clueless. So um, I mean, I, I know kind of a couple of things that you told me about. I, I saw this game at the Video Game Awards, like, how, and you know, I heard a little bit of the, about the reception, but mm -hmm. I am zero spoiled. Just know it's like detective stuff and, 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 and so on. Anyway, yeah, let, let's just start. Uh, this is an RPG, right? Sort of. I mean, do we have to make a character? Yes, this is actually where I hit new game yeah we did this is also just to be completely revealing here we, we did a bit of technical testing and we kind of get got into the first screen of the game but yeah. uh yeah so the first question we have to answer is um we have to select an archetype right we have this either like class right exactly. rogue thief wizard sort of yes <laughs> um so we always play the same character but he's good at different things right. and we have three um made archetypes or we can make our own we can make our own we can make like our own. customizing yes but that's too advanced Vincent. what are the presets the presets are the thinker right. um, described as extremely intelligent very bad with people knows interesting facts comes up with original ideas and he has five intelligence one physical two f y s which i'm not sure what that stands for f y s yes for your sexiness I hope is it uh, like charisma maybe F, F Y is it physical but at least spelled it could no, there, also be but there was a physical stat though yes right? there's a physical okay um, I actually I do want to understand this because I do like to so, play games well okay how about this we I'm just gonna click on create your own and we're just gonna look at the basic um, facts well, because ho hold on let's go through the fr the presets so people okay. can hear um, it and I want to know it as well but I, I gather this is the thinker uh, I, I think I understand what this is about in the context of hard-boiled detective fiction, mm -hmm. but I don't always want to play myself in games. Ooh, so yeah. let's let's go through the other options, okay? okay. Just to finish this thinker, um, he also has four in MOT, which I think is motive, maybe, or mm. something like that. Okay. Um, and he has an added skill, I guess, of encyclopedia. Right. He knows stuff. I guess so. This makes sense to me. Um, the next one would be the sensitive. Right. Very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Mm. He and sounds like a pushover. In uh, parentheses, might begin to lose his mind. I don't know. Isn't any character going to lose this, his mind? It sounds like that kind of game. It might, but I think this one is a little bit more sensitive to these kind of things. Yeah, but what's the upside, though? He's like good at psychology. And very good with people, apparently. Oh, as opposed to the thinker who is bad with people. Yes. All right. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, That's a possible option. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go over the stats because I think we... We don't know what they mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but he also has, um, curiously, the bonus Inland Empire. That's a... Do you know what that is? 
I know what that is. No. There is a David Lynch film called Inland Empire. And this immediately clicks with me because this game already seems like a David Lynch movie. Uh, I think so. And I'm glad that I took you along on the ride. (laughs) Yeah, it's actually, I want to reveal this to our audience. Uh, Vince came to me and said like, hey, I played a bit of this game and I think you really need to play this game. And part of this playthrough for me is going to try to figure out like what gave Vincent this idea that this game would possibly be made for me. Well, you already know parts. Right? So apparently Vincent thinks I like David Lynch. He's sort of right. Although I have to say that Inland Empire was kind of a terrible movie, I thought, because it was way too long. It was like a two hour dream sequence. And I just remember one scene where some lady was showing her breasts. I could still see back in those days. That's all I remember. And creepy stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Lots of creepy stuff, but like it's not. I like the early Lynch stuff, like um, Blue Velvet, and I also liked um, the one where the house burns down. Um, anyway, this is not interesting to anyone. Let's continue. Yeah, Inland so Empire as a skill. <laughs> the last uh, archetype is, of course, the physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done. Everyone but does that, though. Dumb as a rock. <laughs> okay, he's the, the muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Bonus skill, hand-eye coordination. That's Makes sense. Skill. This implies that the other guys, the thinker and the sensitive, have no hand-eye coordination. Exactly. I like it. How do they function? Okay, now let's let's do let's indulge. Okay, let's let us click on the custom thing. Okay. Right. Create Just, your own. We don't want to actually do it, I think, but we can look at the options. Okay. Oh, yeah. Continue, yes, please. Okay, we have uh, intellect. Psyche, physique, and motorics. Uh, that was mod, mo- motorics. Yes. And um, what was phys? Uh, I think that's supposed to be physic, uh, physique. But that would be written with PH, wouldn't it? I know. But there's also psyche, so I don't but know. But psyche that... has no H in it. They none of, just none it of these have an F. None of these. Oh, what about fist, though? No, physic is pH. All right. All like, right. none of these works with an F. Like, there's yeah. no F in any of these. I think they just did it to confuse us. I, well, I think they did it to interrupt our automatic processes. So of let's take points out of intellect. <laughs> are you implying something? Uh, well, I'm implying we're terrible at intellect because we are actually yeah. at the moment. Are there any other interesting choices here? I think I understand the stats um, now. Yeah, I'm just going to go to... N- this is the first uh, uh, the first screen, and then we can click next again. Um, and each of these uh, main stats has multiple skills attached to them. Oh. Um, for example, I'm just going to go through the intellect, yeah. Um, the first one is logic. Uh, we'll draw intellect power, deduce the world. And that, for example, increases the intellect base by one. It does. Uh, it's learned skill zero, bonus from item zero, bonus from thoughts zero. So I'm guessing you can also increase that in the game, which m- would make sense. Yeah, I have no context for any of this. Are there any other skills with funny names like Inland Empire? Okay, I just realized that I can click from overview to... Uh, slash info. Um, so oh dear. Yes. This, I mean, it. we have to say this now. I think this is a reading game, right? This is going to be reading. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to do my best, but at some point I'm just going to crack, I think. Um, I'm just going to go through the first one. Um, yeah, okay. Let's have an example here. Yeah. So, for logic. Cool for analysts, pure rationalists, ob- obvious logicians. Logic urges you to analyze the living daylight out of the case. It enables you to piece evidence together, detect inconsistencies in statements, and impress everyone with your astonishing conclusions. What's the point of this, skill, Vincent? What's the point? Because all of that, that's what we're going to do, right? We're going to figure this out. I mean, yes, this is but also... Skill. Um, we shouldn't take the thinker, I think, because it's, uh, it's redundant. Okay, do you want me to just pick another one? <laughs> uh, yeah, read the Inland Empire skill. Oh yeah, I can do that. Um, okay, that was so, psychological. Uh, that's psyche. Psyche. Yes. Uh, yes. Your power to influence yourself and others. Ah yes. Makes sense. Uh, so the overview is inline empire, hunches and gut feelings, dreams and waking life. 
Um, mm -hmm. And if I go to info, there are also very pretty and very disturbing pictures attached to this, like really? this one. What is it, a bunny? Um, no, it's actually like um, basically just the upper part of a human body, like shoulders and up. Yeah, okay. Um, That's not creepy. But it's for one tinted in uh, purple. And um, it's also as soon as the neck starts, or the, as soon as the the head starts, yeah. it turns into... Um, I don't even know how to describe that. Um, That's like, a good start. Yes. Um, so instead of a head, it's basically like a round object, mm. about as wide as the body. Um, it mm. looks a little bit like a world globe. Mm. But... Uh, like there are plants all over it or maybe like tiny animals plants? like plants like, yeah okay um, maybe like tiny animals like ants it's really hard to say and there are like holes in it and uh, the but more I look at it that's not a head no the more I look at it the, the more like disturbing it becomes well I don't know It yeah it sounds like something that doesn't belong there but it's like okay creepy dream stuff yeah, basically. Uh, not sure if it has any greater meaning, but okay, that's part of Inland Empire. Can you read the description? Yes. Um, cool for dreamers, paranatural investigators, mm. mental creators, which, I mean, we are, right? Um, Inland Empire is the unfiltered wellspring of Im imagination, emotion, and foreboding. It enables you to grope your way through invisible dimensions of reality. Gaining insight into that which sight can't see. This is it. This is our skill. We're sensitive, Vincent. Well, there is more. Okay, give me more. What's really going on? What do these enig enigmatic riddles mean for the yeah, world? Yeah, I fate? do want to know this. There is more. <laughs> At high levels, Inland Empire animates the inanimate. You'll have con uh, you'll have conversations with your clothing, conversations that may change the course of the investigation, if you're not thrown in the loony bin first. With low inland empire, however, you'll be void of imagination and character. And then, how will you shape the cosmos? Yeah, exactly. How, how will you shape the cosmos? I, I don't we know. We are so taking this. <laughs> like, who, this is obvious. Who needs logic? And this is the skill you take if you actually want to see what the creators of this game can show off. This is where they're going to put all their cool art. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so um, it's, no, it's a, it's a no-brainer. So, um, how do you feel? Do do we want to go back to one of the archetypes? Yeah, and yeah, just take, take the, the sensitive. Okay, I'm going to go I back. take everything back about the pushover. It's, it's just going to be, it's going to be Ernest Hemingway. Okay, so um, I'm still, I'm still just looking at the base scores here and it's still one intellect, which makes total sense. For the sensitive now? Yeah, um, yeah, he's not the five, brightest bulb on the pot. Yeah, five psyche, uh -huh. then four physical, which yeah, is okay. written with, with an F for some There's reason. There's the F. There is it. There it is. And then the last one was mode for motorics. Mm, yeah, motorics. Okay. That's like dexterity, but we don't call it dexterity anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to take that and we're yeah. going to hit continue. Are you ready? I'm ready to continue. Let's go. It's turning black. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thomas. Now I have to I click. have nothing to say to that. Begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Okay, first off, I'm not going to be that good. Secondly, um, that's the ancient reptilian brain speaking. Yeah. And I'm going to continue. Um, we're also in a completely black screen apart from the talking. Bit. And this is just voices coming. Yep. All right. Ever. Never, ever. And our first choice. We can either select never, ever, ever, or simply keep on non-existing. I like this game already. <laughs> I knew it. Um, I'm a fan of primordial peace. I'm going to continue not existing. Simply keep on not existing then. And an audience, time passes. 
It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Three choices. First, this is great. Second, give me some more. And third, what was that about the X something? <laughs> what do you think? But, well, I'm already bummed out because I, I have no choice to keep non-existing. Uh, that would have been my default because, I mean, we get the point, right? There's no, no problems. Oh, but right. now we're we're already. I feel like we've been tricked, Vincent, because now we're already existing, and we kind of have to make a choice now. This game is so deep. I don't know if I want to take a break. No, come on. Let's just say it's great, right? Let's this get is great. some positivity. Okay, we're going at it. Yeah. Okay, now we have only the two other options. Give me some more, and what was that about the X something? All right, give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Two choices again. One, I like nothing. And two, how about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? I like nothing. I know you do, baby. And now we're left with only one choice, which is, how about you cough up some of them, some more of that sweet oblivion? Well, that can hardly be called a choice then, but all right. Coming right up, sir. Smooth passy. Ooh, I think now it's getting a little more interesting. We have two choices. The first one is, Alionzi, let's go. And the second one is, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. <laughs> Well, the first option. Okay. All right. Nothing down to fuck all, Barra. Three choices. One, a return trip to the silence, please. Two, let's visit the ancient Zero Horn. And three, look, there's I am tired of being this type of animal. And who gives a shit? I, I'm wondering now if like, we can just stay in primordial oblivion. Or if you prefer, like, stay in this dialogue loop, if we keep selecting the, the most sort of nihilistic, peaceful options. Let's find out. So then we select nothingness again. So I don't know what was it. It's always the same the silence, shit, right? Please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Okay. You want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? This seems like an important choice. I think First you're pulling one. my leg. These don't seem like important choices at all. First one is, don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of the death. Two is, wait, no, I need to belittle myself instead. Yeah, I mean, this game is kind of playing a joke on us, right? It's kind of making us complicit. It's mm -hmm. like like we have a choice about existence or something. Like, if we're going to play this game, it's like we're already guilty. This is a very Christian worldview, Vincent. <laughs> But I think I, I'm done. Yeah, okay. I, I'm going to say, fine, play the joke on me. I'm going to be the one who laughs the loudest. So let's actually go ahead and choose this sort of existence option where we want things. Ooh, okay. Right? Th that's, what was the phrase here? Wait, no, I need to belittle myself instead. Yeah, yeah, that one. Let's see what happens. Really? Two choices again. One, don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. Okay, and two yeah. is I do. Let me off. Yeah, it really hammers it home that you 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 are exiting the kingdom of heaven by your own volition. But yeah, we we got a we got a case to crack. So let's do it. Let me off. Like it if I told you what was back there, why did you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Oh, it's so much over yourself. Carried away, did we share? That's a different guy. That's the limbic system. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I see what, what they are doing. <laughs> and now we can only continue. So, okay. We're an animal now. Are you ready? Yeah. Inland Empire. There we go. Easy. Success. Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. So does this mean the skill triggered or something? Yes, this means that 
just get it triggered and we had a success so um, we get to have some help and we now have three choices um, suppose it uh, to ask them uh, one is wait I did this to myself two is tell me what's waiting for me and three is I don't care I'm an idiot a brave idiot so uh, again say the first one wait I did this to myself okay it's like doubtful and the second one tell me what's waiting for me okay that's fearful and third one I don't care I'm an idiot the oh, brave like idiot depressed and indifferent oh, except for the brave idiot stuff yeah but I don't know I'm just because yeah, it's the limbic system and you know what's in the limbic system no, tell me. All kinds of stuff, like for instance, the am amygdala. That's part of the limbic system. It's all the emotional parts. The limbic system is actually a series of neural nuclei that sits exactly above the hypothalamus. Do you know what the hypothalamus does, Vincent? Tell me. The hypothalamus controls like your very basic animal patterns. You would almost want to call that the reptile brain. It can mm. control everything that a crocodile can do. Right, that part of your brain can do anything a crocodile can do, and that's quite a lot, like breathe and attack and have mm -hmm. sex and stuff. Uh, and then above that is the limbic system, with like a mammalian stuff, like you know, fear and aggression, more complex stuff, uh, like the amygdala that's responsible for fear and partly for aggression. And what I'm expecting is that they're sort of building up this kind of structure, right? Uh, so eventually, we should ap approach the the, the neocortex and the frontal lobe and stuff, our higher cognitive functions. I yeah. think you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah, but now I'm wondering, okay, are these options all, like, do they co correspond to, like, basic mammalian emotions, right? Anyway, let's get this on the road. We're <laughs> already, like, <laughs> probably half an hour in, and it's just not even past the intro. But, okay, I have one more question. <laughs> uh -huh. Go ahead. What's the benefit of Inland Empire now? I don't quite see that. I think without the Inland Empire, you wouldn't get to ask these questions. Oh, not at all? Just hit continue? Yeah. Or maybe there are different uh, questions we can ask with different skills. All right. All right, Vincent, I'm going to pass this one to you. Which one do you want to pick? Uh, let me see. Okay, the Inland Empire was fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Mm. So, since the Inland Empire suggested it, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask, tell me what's waiting for me. Mm -hmm. The evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. That's very helpful. This supports my mammalian system theory. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know which two options we have now? Yeah. One is how big is the ball? And the other one is, of course, how small are the apes? Very obsessed with size. Yeah. Um, let's ask how big the boar is. Okay, how big is the ball, the big system? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're choking it out. It's that large. And guess what? Now we have to ask the other one. All right. Or I guess we could ask the how big is the ball again, but I'm... No, let's not. Assuming ourselves. it's just going to be... Infinitesimally small. Okay. All right. And now we get a third option. And this... Duking it out, I keep hearing about. What's that? Let's see. Buying for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other people apes in the face. Or you lose. Well, that makes things easy. Should have, right. We should have chosen the physic one. Well, I'm not so sure about that. No, we have to hit them, Marius. We have to hit them in the yeah, face. Yeah, we'll we see lose. what the neocortex has to say to that. Okay, we have two options again. Um, one is, that sad. And two, that sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go. Is it sad? I don't, I don't like the sad thing. I don't know. It's not sad. Let's go. Let's Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. And we can click continue again. That's a different guy again. The first guy. Yes. Like a fly to the ointment. Your conscience sticks to it. 
the limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. That's from the title. That's the Disco Elysium. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm beginning to understand. Also, I'm wondering why do they always do they always say conscious instead of consciousness? It's a bit weird. I don't know. I don't know. What are the options? We only have one option. It's continue. All right. Is this going to be the whole game? Is this what you want to show me? I mean, <laughs> you're enjoying yourself, aren't you? Oh, tremendously. <laughs> I'm just wondering, yeah, okay, where yeah. this is going. I'm just, just going to hit continue yeah. and you'll see. Yeah, I'll shut up. Oh, volition, medium, success. You can't take it. You're a champion. And three options. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. Second, please, no, I changed my mind. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. And three, no, I am not scared. I am a champion. Oh, the third one, obviously. That's a good attitude. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Help, someone, cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Second, who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? And third, okay, I'm, I'm a bit scared now. Let's go back to the dark. Uh, what did he say? What arises from my mouth? The stench of... The stench of liquor. Liquor. Oh, okay. We're an alcoholic now. Seems to be. Maybe. Um, uh, the second option. Okay. Who am I? Yeah. What sort of yeah. creature F does this to them? Philosophical own? investigation. A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Very cold. One option. Open your eyes. Yeah, let's go. Big screen. And we're fading into... A room. Alright, out of the dialogue tree. Oh, yes. We, um, we solved the case. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, there's a lot going on here. Um, all right. There's more to do. Yes. First of all, uh, I am controlling a character. Um, all right. Male seems to be in this, let's say, mid 40s to mid 50s. Um, the best <clears throat> age. Yes. Uh, he's holding his head, unsurprisingly. Uh, he's also naked apart from his socks. And his underwear. Uh, All right. Okay, it's it's giving me tips already because I'm not acting fast enough. Right? Why are you not acting? <laughs> anyway, um, we don't need tips. Yes. Uh, but um, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the room is a complete mess. Um, it's uh, not that big. About as big as a living room. Um, mm -hmm. There's a second room next to it. I think that's uh, a bathroom. Is this a kind of hotel room? I think so, yes. This is very on point for the genre. Oh, yeah. And he's probably ha ha having a hangover. He appears to be, yes. Um, right. There are many interactables. Uh, it's auto-saving now. Wow, okay. Just let me play the game, please. Um, he doesn't know that you're helping your blind friend. I'm... Yeah. Uh, There's not a blind friend mode. <laughs> That, that would be an interesting mode. That, but this would be the kind of game where that would not be out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're in a hotel room. We're having a hangover. We don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. It's, Maybe we should get dressed. That would be an option, yeah. Um, Is I'm, there anything else remarkable? I mean, it's a complete mess. Um, there's stuff all over the floor. There's a couch with like clothing and other stuff. Is um, it just our clothing or was there someone else? I think it's mostly our clothing um, but there's also some other sort of cloths. Um, rags. Rags, yeah, something like that. There's um, on the right side there is like an audio system mm -hmm. but it's com I mean, half of it is completely wrecked mm. and just 
um, like old cassette tapes um, ripped out of the cassettes and thrown all over the uh, floor. Cassettes? So is this set in the 80s or something? Um, yeah, well, it's not really cassettes. It's just like these tape recorders. Um, yeah, still, that's ancient technology. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, right next to us is a bottle, which I can interact with, which I'm going to do, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, let's take a hit. Helps the hangover. Yeah, let's just start somewhere. Yeah. Can I interact with it? This magnum-sized bottle of Commandant Red is empty. Oh, you probably drank that. Probably, yeah. I'm wondering if I can see if... Because there there are things that I can interact with, but only if I hover over them, and I can't... Um, I uh, They are not highlighted, but there are also other things, like the cassette tapes, um, or the, the um, recorder that is highlighted by itself. So I'm just going to go through that. Okay. The tapes look like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Okay. Someone uh, didn't like the song. Yeah. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Mm. Okay. And now we're zoomed out a little bit further, too. Um, and I have found some pans in the middle of the room. Right. So we can put these on. Yeah, let's put on some pants. This game is easy. Ooh, item gained. Pants. Yes. Ooh, we have an inventory system. Because we have pockets. Uh, yes. And these pants are flare-cut trousers. They give a... They're flare-cut? Flare-cut trousers. Seri it's, okay, this this is anachronistic. Because, like, it's flare-cut is 70s stuff, right? Yeah. I Did, mean, the, Were there tapes in the 70s? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. These kind of tapes, yeah. All right, I see. Magnetic. Well, they're all magnetic. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flared jeans are pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh -huh. Did Have you ever worn flared jeans? Maybe. I don't Maybe. really remember my youth. Maybe you don't want to remember. No, not really. I have worn flared jeans, and How I'm proud feel? of it. Really? I was probably like 15, and I felt so cool. They were kind of hip back then, at my school anyway. I hope pictures don't exist. Anyway, let's um, put on a shirt. Uh, well, first of all, um, these flare cut trousers are actually an item that gives us bony. Oh, really? What kind? Um, well, okay, it gives us plus one to electrochemistry <laughs> because it's tied around the crotch. Um, that makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, it also gives us minus one to savoir flare or savior flare. Save your flare, probably. Um, Maybe it's French. Because I, yeah, I don't know. It's tied around the thighs. The thighs. Thighs, yes. Um, okay. And there's also a small description, which I think I'm going to read this one, but I'm not going to read all of them. Um, Please do. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal belt, but uh, bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. They are someone's piss-soaked, cum-stained, panty pants. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm going to read the other one. You have too. to read this, too. That's amazing. <laughs> They're piss-soaked and cum-stained. Mm -hmm. That's So we all apparently had a party. I guess these are our pants, right? I and we went to town. Guess so. Yes. We, we went home from the electrochemistry lecture, and we, we went to town. Awesome. Yeah. These aren't real skills in the game, right? This is a joke. This is the game designer making jokes. About other games. Um, we'll let see. me just double check that. Um, okay, I have now the, the um, skills from the character design thing open again. Is it a, a list of all skills? Um, I'm not sure, but there are like hand eye coordination and all that stuff. Yeah, that assume. makes sense. Um, I'm looking if I can find electrochemistry is here. All right. I'll take everything back. And what was the other one? Uh, something about French stuff, about save saviors. I don't see. Oh yeah, there, yeah. savior flare. Uh, Maybe it is English. <laughs> and we have the flare of a savior. Sneak under their noses, stun with immense panache. Oh, I like panache. That's probably French. Well, apparently we are bad at that now. <laughs> right. Um. And we're better at electrochemistry. Because we're nerds. We look like nerds in flared jeans. Uh, because it's not actually electric electrochemistry. 
Oh, it's but, like chemistry as in you're so sexy? Yeah. The d uh, small description is... Tied around the crotch, of course. Yeah. Go to Party Planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Okay. All right. We cracked this case. Yeah. We've, we are rolling. Well, it's also... I mean, it's not like we have any other pants. So let's just wear this disgusting yeah. piece of clothing. How do I get out of here? Okay. Um, okay. I can interact, interact with myself, which I'm not sure I want to do. But I guess... Are you going to wank? Is it this I mean, kind of game, Vincent? <laughs> I told you you would enjoy it. Well, I have so far, kind of. Yeah, well... But, yeah, I don't know. It, it's the orb that tells me to interact with myself is um, pulsating. There's which, an orb. Uh, yeah. Sort of, well, there's sort of a, a highlighter. Yeah, I imagine that the objects that you can click on, they get kind of highlit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so click on yourself. I mean... Why not? Perception. Hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flacker pants. One option, fish them out. Yeah, let's get the keys. Item gained. Key room. Cool, put them back in your pocket. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. Maybe it should open the door. That's our room, maybe. I hope so. Whirling in rags. That's weird. Yeah, but it, I mean... Yeah, okay. I given the room we are in, I don't think it's that weird. Yeah, no, th but that, that is weird. It is weird that it is accurately descriptive. You know? Seems like a premonitory keychain. Hmm. Anyway, let's continue. More clicking. Okay, what else do we have here? There is, I think, a jacket. All right. We're just getting dressed, right? This is easy. Yeah. Um, disco ass blazer. Plus one is right the core. I'm seeing this whole disco theme really come together. Yeah. Is there? Can you give me the description of the jacket? Um, let me pull up. Um, <clears throat> so it's a green jacket um, that is has seen heavily heavy use. Um, it's not exactly stained, but there are like patches on the arms. Mm. Um, the description is, looks like someone skimmed this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and the right sleeve. Enigmatic rectangle? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> How puzzling. Let's see if we find anything else out. All uh, right. Okay, I see there's something on the fan above us. What is it, Vincent? Uh, let's click it. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. Everyone, Vincent can't hear this, but I know what's going to happen. But, so, Vincent, what's on the fan? A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Oh, but we want to be a snappy dresser, right? Let's get the necktie. Okay. Um, the inline empire strikes again with a medium success. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Yeah, yeah, the necktie is our friend, Vincent. So now we have four options here. All right, what are the options? We have the basic three, pull on the fan, pull on the light bulb, and leave. And then there's one more with the Savior Fair. It's a medium 10. We can grab the tie. All right, let's grab the tie. So the first skill check, let's see. Medium failure. You reach out to grab the tie. But what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. <gasps> we have one option. Grab your chest. Yeah, grab it. It's just a heartburn. Damaged. One. Ceiling fan. This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. So This is a weird RPG. I just have to say this right now because... That's not what you regular see, uh, regularly see as skill checks. You should be killing rats, right? Yeah, just grabbing things above you should, should be doable. 
Well, it's obviously not. And I feel like this game is making some kind of statement with that. I, uh, anyway, we have to keep investigating. But well, yeah, I want to understand this message that I'm being told here. Um, just for your information, we yeah. had four health. That's our maximum. And All we right. are now at three. Well, that's still fine. I think so. We might grab it again. Huh? Yeah. Um, gonna hit continue. Okay. This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. Well, For I mean, we did choose time. sensitive, so I mean, yeah. So just don't take it too seriously. One extra line for quite a long time. Continue again. Yeah. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to to start worrying. Continue. Well, finally, I... the pressure recedes. There you go. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. And our health has recovered. I'm back to four. Uh, the grab the tie is now locked. Oh. And now we have the option to pull on the fan, pull on, pull on the light bulb, and leave. Well, let's, let's just pull the whole fan down. Surely that's easier than pulling the tie. Pull on the fan. Yeah. The blade comes squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Oh, oh well, uh, maybe we should have done this in and the first place. Now, oh, that's interesting. Okay, now we have um, the first option again the um grab the tie and i just noticed when i hover over it um it actually tells me how um how our chances are we have um, mm. a high chance of success mm -hmm. the, our savior fare is one um the chances are 72 percent because we have a plus three because the fan is turned off so this um, is how we're learning how the game is computing difficulties yeah there's also something about uh, two six-sided dice. This is a white check. You may retry it. And then um, there are two six-sided dice, both with a one, always loses, and two six-sided die with a six, always wins. These are the rules I of the rolling? guess so. Of the dice? Okay. So I'm assuming it's... Um, I wish it would just... If it's going to be 2d6, like I wish it would just tell us the difficulty of I the I think check. it does that because it does. Uh, it says Savior Fair medium 10. Oh, and the 10 is what we have to hit? Yeah, and we tried yeah. that in a, a moment ago with a plus 1 from Savior Fair, and now we have a plus 4 because we also turned the fan off. And now it's kind of easy. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Let's grab the tie. Here we go. Medium failure. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's happening again. You didn't catch it, and now there's numbness in your left arm, plus half your chest. One, grab your arm. It's even worse this time. Maybe you should no, stop trying it, to catch the tide. No, it's fine. Now we're already used to it. We already know what's going to happen. We're going to be fine. Still happening. Definitely worse than the last time. Ah, finally, the stabbing recedes. You could try doing it again to see how painful it gets, but you would probably die. No, but the Inland Empire. David Lynch told us to get the tie, so we have to get the tie. Uh, it's locked at the moment, but we can either pull on the fan, pull on the light bulb, or I'll leave still. Okay, I mean, I don't see what the light bulb will help us, but we let's do it. Okay, let's see. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning uh, around Oh, I see. It was brain. off before, and we turned it on. Yeah. Oh, I thought the other way around. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it wasn't really clear. Um, I mean, how is light coming into this room? How do we see? There is a window mm. on one side. Um, there's also, like, one of the walls of the room is mm. uh, made from glass, but it's not clear if it's actually seeing outside or into another room. But I don't see another room, so I'm assuming it's outside. Okay. Um, anyway, now we turned it on and it's too bright for this guy. Yes. All so, right. continue. Pain threshold, medium success. It's just a hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Yeah, we pushed through it. Um, we have the option to bring it on or to pull again to turn the light off. Bring it on. Little black spots dance on your retinas. It's oh, come on. Who is this guy? Almost pleasurable. Oh, he's enjoying this now? Okay. okay. So, so um, now we have three options, uh, which are exactly the same as last time. It's just a ceiling fan, dude. Like, how does this guy live? <laughs> I, I think he doesn't live. Like, how did he make it here? 
I mean, he tried. Well, well, he was very this, close to not living. This I think. is beginning to aggravate me. This is like David Lynch is playing a joke on us. We gotta get this tie now. <laughs> okay. Um, should we just try pulling on the fan again? Yeah, I mean, eventually we have to hit a 12 on 2d6 or something. Yeah, so the switch must be broken because nothing happens. The air in the room is starting to f feel like vaporized urine. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird turn of phrase. Okay. Okay. So now we can't pull on the fan. We can't grab the tie. Um, But we need our friend. Um... Yeah. How can we finish the game? Maybe this tie is like, you know, in the game for Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you have mm -hmm. to grab the towel at the start of the game. Oh, yeah, and we can't you... go without our towel. Yeah, ex I mean, did you, did you read the book? Yeah. The towel features prominently in the book, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it also features in the game, but you have to grab it in like the first scene, although you have the option to not grab it. And if you do that, then you can go through the whole game, and at the end, you, you can't finish it, You can't win the game because you don't have the towel. No, oh, that's And that, true. that's a mean, practical joke. Um, and I think this is what's happening here. Exactly. This is probably a reference to the towel of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Could be. But are you saying we have no way to get this tie in? I'm just going to try pulling on the light bulb again. Okay. And if that doesn't work, I think we're out of options. Yeah. Uh, lights off again. That's great. Uh, okay. Yeah, I that's already feel relieved. Just leave, I guess. We can leave now? Not get the tie? Oh man, I'm so bummed out now. Is this... Do we have to save scum? Can we like reload from the start and get the tie? We could just make a new character. But no, I don't... I guess we, we just live... Roll with the punches, right? This is hardball detective fiction. I guess. We have no tie now. Fine. Nah, for now. Okay, that that's just... I think we've located everything in this room, but okay. there's still the bathroom. Yeah, let's go in the bathroom. There's one thing we can immediately intact. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. Oh, crap, we drank even more. No. Yeah. Okay, there's also a mirror we can intact with and a shirt. Let's grab the shirt and finally get dressed. Oh, we put the jacket on before the shirt. Well, let's the, see how that works yeah, out. Yeah, the game will solve this for us, right? White satin shirt. Plus one conceptualization, minus one suggestion. These, um, I don't know how to feel about these skill names. <laughs> I like them. Um, okay, what does it say? Um, plus one conceptualization, a real statement to wear. Minus one su suggestion, unsavory odor. Right. This white satin shirt used to be fancy. It used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. <laughs> This is a very piss-centric game so far. <laughs> This is great. Man, <laughs> this is fantastic picture. Our hero is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, he certainly is. All right. Put it on. And we did. Okay. Can uh, we look in the mirror and stare at our horrible visage? Oh, let's stare in the mirror. Yeah. Here we go. Is Not he going to get another heart attack? We'll see. Mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hmm, that probably was us. I mean, masculine energy doesn't exactly resonate no, with this character. No, it's true, he would have gotten a heart attack. <laughs> but maybe if there were enough drugs involved. Maybe there was someone else. Well, I don't know. Hot water sprays from a base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. But didn't it say in the start that sh the furious live in the mirror? It did. I wonder what that's about. Anyway, we'll we find out. Yeah, we can't look in the mirror, so fuck it. Wait. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Oh, shit. Underneath the soft vapor. And then we have three options. Really? Nothing? Two, wipe the mirror. And three, No way, I'm not doing this. Back off. Yeah, let's wipe the mirror, get a clear view. Okay, here we go, wipe the mirror. Mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, dot, 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 continue. Inland Empire. This, I think this is a good skill to have. I think so. Easy, success. Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. Why? You won't like what you'll see there. Oh, I thought it's like going to be hot or something, the mirror. 
But I mean, we got to face the facts. And you will never unbecome it. Yeah, but I mean, this is kind of creepy, but I mean, you got to live with what's going on. But okay, we can't just always listen to Inland Empire. I kind of want to wipe the mirror. Well, we have options. Yeah. We have, I don't care, still wipe the mirror. We have, maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Oh, and, touch your face? Yeah. Okay. And then the leave option. What do you want to do, Vincent? I mean, I want to touch it. Touch the face? Touch the face. All right, let's touch the face. So we don't get too shocked if there's something on our face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. Oh. what? What's wrong? What's or wrong with my face? How bad could it be? These are the options? These are the options. What's wrong? What's wrong? Where to even begin? There's the bloatness, then the sol swallowness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. And we have five options. Five. Oh, that's a lot. I'm sorry. Touch your nose. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. And four is wipe the mirror now. And five is leave. Touch the nose. I'm sorry. Touch the nose. Bet you are. Your nose, feel, your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. And it doesn't appear to be particularly thin nose, uh, tiny, no <clears throat> tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Dreams. Drinks. Drinks. The nose has absorbed drinks. Oh, yes. Well, I guess in a way. It's like a little tank okay. of booze. Do we touch the tongue now? I guess so. That's the next option. At least my tongue is okay. And then the mirror. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. All right, it's like the mirror is talking to us? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's telling us stuff that we don't really want to hear. Mm -hmm. Ugh. We have three options now left. I'm scared, I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror and leave. Fear is not an option. Not in the disco. Let's wipe the mirror. Here we go. <gasps> Oh god, the whole f the whole screen became a picture of his face. But I mean, it's like you saw the face before, right? Cuz you're controlling the character. Yeah, but the character doesn't have like a lot of detail to it. All um, right. This one is like an oil painting. Um <laughs> it's detailed, but also a little bit scary and I can certainly see the bloatiness of the whole face. Okay. He's just an ugly middle-aged man. Oh yeah. All right. Terrible teeth What's and like mutton chops. <laughs> and like a 70s oh, yeah. hipster. Well, but what's so scary about that? That's that's a person. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. it would be scary if you wake up and that's you mm -hmm. and you don't expect it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, just get used to it. Oh, I wonder because, um, okay, two things. One, um, I just realized we're now in the um, lower left. But uh, below our health, we now mm -hmm. have a character portrait. Oh, and that looks even worse, um, <laughs> because there he looks like, like an undead, like Ugh. bloodshot eyes, almost white skin, red nose, this beard that is like mutton chops and then a mustache. Um, he looks dead, um, and because in the picture here he doesn't have clothes i wonder what happens if we would go to the mirror first and look at us if there would still be clothes that's uh, a, a, a an interesting theory i'm sure there are many variations on this opening sequence could be but uh, i mean we we did it we overcame our own fear we looked at our vi visage oh yes so the mirror said behold and we can continue. You have no idea who's, who this thing is, do you? Oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> I mean, I agree. Um, three options. First one is, dear Lord, help me. What is this? Second one is, of course I do. It's, um, is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. And third one, this is the face of a late stage alcoholic. Yeah, I think the third one is the most accurate. Very true to yourself. 
Nero says, too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? And then two options. The mirror is cruel. <laughs> yeah, but also funny. Um, two options. I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. And I have no idea why it is there. It just is. A second. I have no idea why it is, why it is there. It just is. Yeah. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. That's the mirror talking? Mm hmm. We have two options. Okay, try to stop. And no, keep making the face. Well, we don't have to be cruel back, so sure, stop. Okay, try to stop. Oh my god, you can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. Well, bummer. You have worn that grin on, into your face, and now it won't come off. Continue. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Is there actually, um, like, do you actually see this guy smiling into the mirror? Oh, yeah. He's and like... He looks weird? Grinning, yeah. He's grinning. <clears throat> That's interesting. I heard of this. This is an experiment, okay? Mm -hmm. Where, like, um, you imagine yourself uh, standing in front of a bathroom mirror. Uh, and you... Now, you look at the mirror, okay? Are you doing this, Vincent? I mean, it's not the bathroom, but I can imagine myself doing it. Yes. Doesn't matter, just in front of a mirror. And you're looking at yourself in the mirror, and now, like, imagine your face and stuff, and now imagine yourself looking at this mirror. Your face remains completely unmoving, uh, expressionless. Uh, and now, without you moving your face in any way, you see your mirror image slowly start to smile. All right. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. But here's the question now. That face that you're seeing, if you're actually imagining this, mm -hmm. is it the good you or the evil you? Well, the evil you? Yeah, everyone says that. Because it's doing something it's not supposed to do. It's like your shadow or something. This is like psychoanalysis. And I think this is a reference to that for sure. Mm. Right? Because that's the evil us smiling in the mirror. I think so, um, but I'm also wondering because uh, he, I mean, for me, the, the evil part happens the moment um, the mirror self does something that I'm not doing. Yeah, but why does it also look evil? It could look different. It could smile at you like a kindly grandmother, but that's not what happens in your imagination. And probably that's because it does something that you're not doing. Yeah. But, like, you see what I mean? It, it's mm -hmm. not necessarily that because of that it turns into evil. You it could also be, oh, you didn't even know how kind you are to yourself. That's not what's happening because that's repressed unconscious material. It's part of you. It's doing stuff, but you don't really want it to be there. And it's evil. Yeah. I mean... There are certain things that I'm thinking here, but um, mostly I'm just arguing that he is not in the same kind of position because he's smiling himself, I think. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. This I is, mean, yeah, yeah. it still looks painful. And he, but he he's it. also, there is this issue of control and voluntariness because mm -hmm. there were dialogue options that were like, I'm not doing this. No. Am I doing this right? So it does sort of recur to to yeah this kind of problematic of who's in charge here yeah but i i think the the whole question would be very or the whole um, feeling would be very different if i'm standing in front of a mirror and realize that i can't stop smiling um compared to i stand in front of a mirror yeah. and realize that the th thing that looks at me is smiling and i'm not i agree uh if, because that's yeah. a demon no i i agree because like in the mental experiment like i did specifically point out multiple times like you're not actually doing anything right mm -hmm. if i think we have the mental experiment and it's like okay suddenly you just start smiling it might have a different result it might feel like you have some you imagine yourself more like with some kind of neurological issue or something yeah right like the tetanus smile mm -hmm. that you can't get rid of anyway what an interesting game this is oh yeah let's um what does the mirror want us to do now um, well it's asking the question, what does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? And we have five options again. Yeah. One is 
superstardom. Two is God, I don't know, it's indescribable. Three, I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it me it's meant for the ladies. Four is I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too, in a, a sad has been kind of way. There's some charm to it. <laughs> and then five it is is an expression of pain. All right, interesting. I, I think what I'm about to do now, this is like the second time, and I think we're going to continue doing this. Mm -hmm. But what are the options here? We have number one, narcissism. Number two is like depression, self-doubt. Mm -hmm. Number three is um, fear. Right? What was three? I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid no, it's meant for the wrong. ladies. I did not mean fear. I mean like sexual stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we have... I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm so... I'm sort of pulling it off too, in a sad has been kind of way. There's some charm to it. That's an interesting option because it's both like about sympathy and like care in some way, mm -hmm. not being nice, but it's also um, weirdly self deprecating. This yeah. is the only option that has humor, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the, uh, the fifth one? It's an expression of pain. Yeah, that's like edgelord material. I, I don't know. I want to take the sympath sympathetic one. Okay. Let's see. No, oh, he's I just again realized that he's also doing it in the little character portrait on the <laughs> lower left. Maybe that's just the mirror. Maybe. I mean it's it's All a different right. looking picture, but who knows? It's not better. Okay. Ooh, okay, we have some options here. Um so what we said is I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too, in a sad has been kind of way. Yeah. There's some charm to it. And then the mirror says, there might have been 10 years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. And now we have three options. Two of them are skill checks. Oh. One is Encyclopedia. Oh, the thinker's game. Formidable. 13 deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Crap, maybe we should have picked Thinker. Oh um, god. Yeah, we have a three percent chance of Yeah, I mean thirteen on two D six. We need we would okay, the only chance to roll a twelve, right? Because that's a critical hit. Uh yeah, we also have Encyclopedia on one. Oh okay. Because we have one intellect or whatever the step but is. But it's still just the twelve because the only way to reach a thirteen plus one yeah. is to reach twelve. So yeah. that's kind of a useless plus one. Well, no, because otherwise it would be impossible, like the next option, mm. electrochemistry. Impossible. 18. Yeah, 18 is impossible. But except, yeah, okay, do I understand this game correctly? If you roll a 12, you always win? Um, I guess so, yeah, because it says we have 5 electrochemistry, which would mean we get a 17 at the highest, but we yeah. still have a 3% chance. Yeah, I mean, there should be a 1 in 36 chance to win any roll. Yeah. But anyway, we're not doing mm. that one. Um, what is there another option? Uh, let the mirror be for now. I'm I'm wondering if these actually have any risk to it. Uh, if this was a tabletop RPG, mm -hmm. there better be any risks because why are you making people roll if there's no interesting result to failure? It's not a tabletop RPG though. That's a good point, Vincent. So let's find out if it's designed like a tabletop RPG. Do the thinking, the encyclopedia thing. Okay, I'm um, just. Uh, because I didn't do that. Um, the second op option is electrochemistry, impossible 18, and it says attempt to stop the expression from happening. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Because it's interesting, kind of explains this weird electrochemistry skill. I yes. still don't quite understand it, but sure. So, um, thinking. All right. Let's go dig deep into your mind to yeah. locate the source of the expression. 3% chance. Oof, formidable failure. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know, know for now. Jeez, Muir. Thanks. Such a downer. Yeah. I'm, um, okay, I'm, I'm, there was something happening in the middle of the stream and I didn't see what exactly. I'm assuming it was just the dice. Um, mm. But I remember earlier there was at the same place the bit with losing health. So I'm gonna... Did we lose any health? No. All right. But maybe we lost an arm or something, I don't know. Uh, so, we still have two options. 
either the electrochemistry one. Oh, you can still do that? Well, let's yes. give it a shot. What's the risk? We might die here. Yeah, to, anything can God, you. if he's going to have a heart attack while trying to change his face. No, I put my money on stroke. Uh, my Because you already look like you're having a stroke. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Impossible failure. Oh, yeah, it was just the dice in the middle. Um, we rolled a five and a two. Almost a twelve. Impossible failure. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Now we can only let the mirror be for now. So we're just stuck with a weirdo smile forever? Yeah, and we don't even know how it got there or where it came from. Well, um, yeah, okay, I can accept that. Me too. All things considered, I th I can accept that. There could have been worse expressions. Damn. I mean, you're not seeing it. <laughs> no, it, I, I think it's it's slightly creepy, but okay. It's an okay oh. smile. Let nice. Let the mirror be for now. Yeah. Oh, no. we're auto-saving. Very good. Oh, we made important choices okay. that need to be saved. I remember there was something about highlighting. Oh, okay. I think it's okay if I use a highlight button, right? We're not here for pixel hunting. That's for tips? No, it's just for highlighting um, like the the fan, for example. It's not highlighted by itself. So uh, this highlight button that you speak of, this is just to show you what you can interact with? Exactly, yeah. Well, that's obvious. Yeah, let's use that. Yeah, I, I think we're both not really into the pixel hunting game, so I think... Well, I would be, but with my handicap, I'm going to... Accept the help of you want to play this button. on your <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, so okay. I think I just noticed a shoe over here. Oh, yeah, we need shoes. Yeah, well, obviously, not two, just one. Oh, it's a start. Um, it's not showing anything. Green shoe, left foot. Nope, that wasn't it. That was it. What does the shoe say? Uh, no bonus. Okay. Green. Is it, is it plus one to biomechanics? No. No bonus at all. Oh, uh, that's it, surprising. The description says, this green crocodile leather shoe has a high heel. And of course it's crocodile leather. Of course. <laughs> and chrome embezzlements. <laughs> it fits your left foot perfectly. Now all that remains is to find the other shoe. We look like a total idiot. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess that's the point. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey. I mean, at least we have, like, pants and a shirt on. What a wretch! Do you think the makers of this game, they were all middle-aged men who hated themselves? I mean, maybe. But, I mean, I can also imagine that they were just um, all, like, 20-year-olds with deep-seated daddy issues. I don't think so. I don't think they were 20-year-olds. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I'm just going to try to grab for the necktie yeah, one more yeah, time yeah. and maybe die in the process. We'll no, we're not, we can't, I'm glad we can grab the tie again because we have another chance now. Uh, no, apparently not. We can't grab it? No. It's forever. Yeah, it's still the same options. All right. We just, yeah, I mean, I like this. The choices in this game at least have some consequence, right? Because uh, we tried it, we failed, and now we can't try again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, only thing left to do here is to leave. Yeah, let's get out of this dump. Okay, we have... We're all dressed. Well. Smiling. Well. The world is our oyster. Well, we'll see. Okay, and we walk out onto sort of gallery above... Let me see. Um, so, there's like a sitting place here and... Oh, God. okay, I just walked outside. I didn't even realize there was a door. Um, so we are on the... Um, I'm going to walk back inside. There's like nice mm -hmm. music. Yeah. Neat. It's gone now. Um, <clears throat> so let me see. Um, we are on the... Wait, how does it work? First floor? So not the That's base when you floor. move up the stairs. Yes, exactly. Not the ground floor, but the first floor. There's exactly. some weird things about Russians doing this differently. I don't know. Uh, I so know what you mean. We're on the first floor. Um, we're looking from this gallery that has, um, like, I think, four doors. I see three here. 
um, but there could be one more. This is like a motel, like a cheap motel where you walk up the stairs and you're on this kind of balcony thing and there's like a bunch of doors through the rooms. Not really, because we're still inside. Um, oh, okay. There is uh, a, like a mosaic uh, thing below us. Um, uh, on the floor? Yeah. Okay. That fancy. In, on the base floor. Um, yeah, it looks kind of fancy. Um, and it looks sort of like bar or a theater maybe mm -hmm. um i also see people talking below us oh there's people okay um yes and there's one person um right outside our door that you just heard talk with okay. a hello officer oh oh we're yeah of course ma'am we're a police officer <laughs> i guess so yes undercover um oh there's a calendar i'm just going to click that oh, the yeah. calendar says it's march the year is 51. Something oh. 51. Apparently in this world there's tapes in 51. I guess is that so. accurate? This is not relevant to anything. Um, um, there's also, I should let you know, um, part of our hut is that we have a day and a time of day. So ooh. it's day one and it's 8.21. It's going to be like time uh, management. Oh, I Vincent, so. I have a question. Is this going to be like you know, measuring time while we're just letting it idle? Uh, so far, the time hasn't really changed. So okay. It would so. make sense. I mean, the alternative is that it, the time moves forward when we make skill rolls and stuff. Yeah, that right? could be. I'm hoping for it. It would make this... I mean, the makers of this game would be kind of... It would be weird to have that kind of time pressure in this kind of game because it makes it virtually unstreamable, I would mm -hmm. imagine. So, yeah. It would ob obviously for us it would make it kind of more difficult with your um, wonderful descriptions, obviously having to take up some time. Yeah. Anyway, the, I have a question. Yes. The room we came out of, mm -hmm. does that have the number one? Uh, I can't tell actually. Oh. Because it just wait, can I zoom in? Oh God. Because uh, we have a key for the room number one. I mean, we opened the door, so I'm with assuming. the key. I don't actually know. Do uh -huh. we still have the key? I don't see it. No, we don't have the key. So I'm assuming we used it. <laughs> we used it. Oh, up. never mind. There's an extra inventory slot for keys. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Or a keychain. Yeah, but it also looks like a special inventory slot for one key, which is very weird. But that's how it is. Okay. Okay. Um. So we are on this balcony thingy um, above the ground floor yeah. and there is a woman we can talk to. Um, are there other rooms we can go in? There are two other rooms. I don't think we can open either of but them. But maybe they have the number one. Mm. Do, you know, I used to play Baldur's Gate back mm -hmm. in the day when I was young. That was an RPG. And what you would do is go, go to a bigger city, Burgost preferably, mm -hmm. and then enter every house and steal uh, coins and jewelry. Yeah, I mean, and you still. This do is that. how I would play this game. Exactly. Um, don't think we can actually open these doors. Um, they are non-interactable. Um, and I can also tell you, um, the room we went out of is the last or the first of this three. Hour, ah, uh, which would indicate number one. Vincent, you're thinking like a detective. I know. I like that. See, this is what I mean. We don't need to take the thinker archetype because you know you can think for for ourselves perfect yeah let's it's talk so to the lady okay um i should also let you know well we can uh, i can talk about directions here after talking to the lady oh well i just assumed we have the option to go down yeah we can go um to the right of the screen or to the lower part of the screen i guess um it's sort of a u-shape um yeah no let's push our creepy smiley face into the lady's yes, face let's go <laughs> her name is Klasje, K-L-A-A-S-J-E. That's a weird name. Um, it's also in parentheses, Miss Orange Disco Dancer. Oh, okay. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. She's smoking the whole time while we're standing there. Um, and we have two options. Officer, am I military per personnel? Or two, we can leave. Uh, well, hold on. Option number one is officer. Yes, we can talk to her. Officer. We oh. because she said hello, officer, and we can. Oh, it's a question mark. Yes, ask I her. See. Officer, am I a military personnel, 
Or we can turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. All right, we don't really only have that one option. Let's do it. Let's talk to her. Uh, no. She <laughs> seems perplexed by your question. Yeah, it is a bit perplexing. Authority, medium success. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. But she called me officer. I guess that is the solution we came to. I'm quite glad that we are doing the thinking and not leaving it to the character. I mean, right it's now. a medium success. That doesn't seem like a success to me. Not really. Well, okay. okay. Let's leave this mystery unsolved for now. Oh, okay. Um, Is there more interaction <coughs> with the lady? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's we have two options here. Yeah. Um, number one. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman, chief executive, executive officer. I right? see. I see the connection now. Yeah, I guess. And the second one would be, then why did you call me an officer? Um, I find the second one less out of touch with reality. I agree. Yeah, let's Even though, take that one. I mean, we had a success on authority. Yeah, let's but, just go for the yeah, second one. Yeah, yeah. Because you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> I love that voice actress. She pulls on a cigarette. Yeah, <laughs> so just like... I wish this game was mm. more voice acted. They seem to have good direction, I guess. Yeah. So far. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully there will be a voice acted one eventually. I don't know. Maybe leave this game as it is. Make another one that's voice acted. Now that you, I mean, I sure. assume this game was successful, right? I think so. Yeah. So with all that yeah. money, hire some... Anyway, that's, what are the options now? Um, are you sure you're shitting me? God damn right. I'm a policeman. No, and you... don't you forget it. You're shitting me? Is that a single option? Yeah. Yeah, let's take that one. You're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. She takes another drag. All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, so... And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, I'm mostly drinking. Four options now. Her story seems to check out. With all of our evidence. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we have uh, number one, why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Which I already like. Yeah, this is very straight. We, we're playing the straight game here. Mm -hmm. um, number, poo, um, number two. Ah, <laughs> you said number poo. <laughs> I'm just calling that out. Uh -huh. Taking a drink. <laughs> um, number two <laughs> would be who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? That's also a really understandable question. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I think that might be a bit out, out of her like area of expertise. Yeah, but now thinking, Vincent, <clears throat> I just, I just now want to take the options that make this lady say the funniest things. You know what I mean? Oh wait, and then I, I have yeah. the perfect one for you. Um, number three, suggestion, challenging, twelve. Oh, it's Try. a skill check. Yeah. Okay. Try the expression on her. <laughs> Let her know you want her physically. <laughs> That's really creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but really I kind of want to see that. what happens. Yeah. Oh, this is hard. No. Okay. And the fourth option is I Leave. should get going. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. No. Um. Fuck. Yeah. Let's do the expression. Okay. Let's yeah. do the expression. Challenging. Failure. Of course. The words have already left your mouth. I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we God. we say I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not even grammatically correct. This is so perfect. That's really. I mean, if someone comes oh, on to you mm -hmm. so directly, you really want them to have good grammar. Do you? I mean, with that, that seems expression? like a a basic skill. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I can't wait to hear a response. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, also, I just noticed um, the time is actually changing. It's now 8.24. But we have been clicking stuff, so... Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's also slow, uh, very slowly yeah, all right. changing. Okay, so I want to have fuck with you. She erupts in laughter. <laughs> all the fatigue swept from her face. What was that? That's not even how words are used. Oh, what she, did you say? Come she, on, say it again. She's no longer voice acting. No. But she, probably she gets the shit from us all the time. Maybe. Um, we have two options. I said, I want to have sex with you. 
<laughs> and two, no, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, number number pool. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, man. Pretty please. One more time. Is she saying that now? Mm hmm Oh, she switched it around. We're no longer, like, harassing her. She's now, like... Harassing us. In a way, mm -hmm. because of our weird speech impediment. And now she's making us dance like a monkey. Uh, yeah. Um, All right. We had a medium success in authority. Don't back down now. Say what you said again. Proudly. And I mean, let's, let's, let's humor her. What was, what's the other option? Uh, one is, I said, I want to have fuck with you. And two is, find someone else to laugh at. Oh, no, I want to do what she wants. I want to give her that. So let's just say I want to have fuck with you. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn right you did, you crazy asshole, you. She wiped the tears from her eyes. What kind of cop are you? And we have four options. I'm a cop of the apocalypse. Number two, superstar cop. I can no longer deny it. This superstar thing keeps coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, number three is, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. You're pretty. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. Um, That's the sorry option. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> and number four is, I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. So, are we a ah. superstar cop? A cop I want to take the sorry option, I think. There you go. Then let's go with the sorry option. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. You're pretty. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm the sorry cop. I want to have fuck you. <laughs> Don't be. It was funny. And anyway, who gives a shit? She's a cool lady. Yeah. Who gives a shit about any of it? Well, that's a bit nihilistic. Empathy. Medium success. Hey, that's our first empathy test. She appears to genuinely want you to understand it's okay. That's sweet. Makes me feel a little better. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the world seems nice. Our character... Hmm. Um, Did you just say the world seems nice? Yeah. I disagree. This world does not seem nice so far. Doesn't it? I don't know. The mirror is abusing us. Yeah, but that's mostly ourself. And, well, I guess we let's see more of the world and then decide. Yeah. Um, so she says, So what if you can't pull grade A pussy anymore? There, there, are any, uh, there are other things in life, more meaningful, more fitting for a man your age. This... She gestures towards herself, draped in silver. This is Fata Morgana. One thing, though, she extinguishes, extinguishes her cigarette. It's going to suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Oh, crap. And she's leaving towards room number three. That seems weirdly premonitory. Ooh, she's stopping at the door, and we can click continue. And for the record, no, I didn't do that. And it do closes what? the door. I don't know. Oh, God damn it. End. And we're standing here. Oh, we can... That comment really stung <clears throat> about that grade A pussy. Yeah. Like, she's really driving it home, but we're kind of a douchebag. We kind of deserve it, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not with that um, approach, this, this at least. This game's making me feel horrible. <laughs> Does it? Why did you want me to play this? Ah, oh, you love it. Oh, God, let's crack this case. Okay. Um, what case? First off, we can touch our cigarettes, I think. Mm, evidence, yes. <laughs> let's go. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Ooh, we can touch ourselves. DNA probes. Um, interestingly enough, um, the first time we can uh, use ourselves or interact with ourselves, um, that was an orange swap compared to all the green ones usually, and now mm. it's a red orb. I wonder if these have any meaning. Yeah, I don't know. It's also flashing. Difficulty? Danger? I don't know. Let's touch the cigarette. Electrochemistry. Oh, maybe it, um, because electrochemistry is also red, maybe it's just the oh. physical attribute. Oh, okay. Or the, the attribute in general. <clears throat> Makes sense. So, electrochemistry. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. That, yeah, I mean, especially if you have a hangover. That's gonna, especially with the weak heart and a hangover. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. So, um, three options: the what now? Second, am I a smoker? And third, nah, discard thought. I 
do like the first option because the game is recognizing what I recognized, namely that describing this used cigarette butt as fat and juicy is like weirdly off-putting. Mm -hmm. Let's take the first option. Okay. The living shit. Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. Yeah, let's give it all once. Am I a smoker? No, oh, we're about to find out. Who knows what you are? A monster, a murderer, the gnome of Jamoa? Gamoa? You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stop. Okay, it's describing it this way because... Smoldering deliciously. Yeah, because we are addicted to smoking. But addicted to tobacco. Oh, yes. But she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. Well, that's not <clears throat> what I think. <laughs> that was our only option, and now electrochemistry is coming at us again. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that a carton. Make sure that they're all healthy and able-bodied. Then smoke them all. This is weirdly gregarious advice from electrochemistry. Mm -hmm. Very precise. All right. And we continue with the volition. Medium success. Or you could not do that. Oh, okay. No so one's making you. This is the prefrontal cortex talking. Mm -hmm. Volition. And we have, weirdly enough, five options between these two. Yes. Is uh, it weird, Vincent? <laughs> In this I, game <laughs> okay what enough. are the, what are the options <clears throat> and the options are yes i should do that do what I, do something else no oh, find a carton of cigarettes and oh, okay them. i was honestly wondering what this was referring to okay. um, so yes i should do that i should enthusiastically do that i should not not do that these are the other options i make it priority one and, well, I'll think about it. That's the other option? Mm hmm Weren't there five? Yeah. It's, yes, I should do that. I should enthusiastically do that. Okay. I should, uh, I should not not do that. I make it priority one. <laughs> and, well, I'll think about okay. it. Okay. So the joke is you're addicted and there's like four options that basically all say yes. Yes. And there's one that's maybe not quite yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but no, 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 I like Volition. Let's take the fifth one. Okay. Electrochemistry again. Good. Thinking about jummy cigarettes in your mouth is the exact best thing. Make sure you think about the juicy sticks of tobacco all the time. Though. Is electrochemistry just a skill for our, uh, for our id? Maybe. Yeah, it seems to me that way. Is this what this game is about? <clears throat> It versus ego. We'll see. We'll see. It doesn't count if it's not all the time. And then we can continue to. And when you're done thinking about them, graduate to getting them. Continue again. New task. Find smokes and smoke them. <laughs> Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Oh, yeah? That's what electrochemistry said, I think. <laughs> okay. I don't know yet if we can trust electrochemistry. Ah, we can absolutely trust them. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I, but we solved the, the cigarette puzzle. We did. We have a quest now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, okay, where do we go now? Yeah, we have uh, oh, three options, I see. We can um, go to the door that the lady left uh -huh. um, and knock or talk to it, I guess. Uh, we can go to the left, which leads to a balcony, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and we co can go to the right, which leads downstairs. Let's go to the left. I, I mean, do you want to keep interaction with the lady? I think we harassed her enough. Uh, well, the left first. <clears throat> uh, there's something to... There's something on the table. Take. <gasps> Money gained. Uh, we just grabbed some spare change. Yes, it's... Um, what was that 
Real, I think. Real? Yeah, I'm in loading screen now, but... Uh, what? what does it that, say? Isn't that a currency in Spain? I think so. Used to be. I think they have euros now. But this is the 50s, right? I don't even know. Where the hell is my money? Items? How many uh, gold coins do we two. have? Yes. Where's the next blacksmith? I need yes. a sword. I need a sword to <laughs> smash goblins with. Yes. Uh, I don't see my money anywhere. They put it away. Hand me a plus one to dexterity ring. That's not a thing. That will be like a plus electrochemistry ring here. Hmm. I'm sure. There's a nice trumpet again, by the way. Some yeah. music's playing. Uh, kind of somber. Yeah. Okay, we're standing outside the whirling in rags, which is the name of this establishment. <clears throat> yeah. Um, some seagulls. Probably a port city. I think so. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm a detective. Interestingly enough, the whirling in rags um, almost looks like a like a botanical garden, maybe. Mm, okay. Um, like mostly uh, glass walls. Hmm. Um, but we are standing on the balcony. Do you, uh, do you know what it is, Simpsons? What? It's the Garden of Eden that we have just now been <gasps> banished from. Ooh. Well, was it really Eden? Well, it was before this fucking id woke us up, you know, the reptilian brain. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. There you go. Okay, is there anything interesting here? Um, a few things we can look at, but not interact with, I think. Um, All right. Maybe we can. Um, there's below us a woman, a woman with, uh, like, thick gloves and a worker outfit. Oh, um, like someone, like a police officer at a crime scene? No, more like a... Um, I don't know, blue color. Uh, uh, like worker? a trash, a garbage person? Mm, no, just a worker, basically. All right. Uh, just working. Just working. Can I... uh, let's look at her. Okay, wait. I'm still figuring out the zoom thing. I'm, I feel like there is a zoom, and I just, I'm too stupid uh, to figure it out. Maybe it's using a mouse wheel that you don't have. <laughs> Might be, yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, first of all, we can attack with ourselves again. Yeah, that's always a good one. Yes. Uh, I'll note it's an orange circle again. Let's see what that means. The, cell, uh, the smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Wow. That's it. Okay. Big deal. Uh, let's see if we can talk to her. We're standing right above her. There's also, like, she's sitting on a, uh, on a uh, chair. And there's, uh, what do you call these? A uh, wheelbarrow next to her. Mm, okay. I'll see. Can I talk to her? Nope, can't talk to her. Because we're on a balcony and there's a railing and oh, okay. we can't move away, but... Possibly I... we will move around later and get to her. Yes, okay, I've walked uh, down the balcony to the side. Oh, okay. Uh, we can interact with ourselves again. Yeah, let's do that. Red circle. A gust of briny wind washes over you. Cool. And there's a shoe in front of us. Uh, did we ever find the second shoe? We have now. All right. Green snake skin shoe. Nice. Man, does that mean we were there standing mm. in front of this lady with like one shoe on and one sock? Yeah. And saying, I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> that is beyond <laughs> creepy. That's, that's like <laughs> stroke territory. She probably thought we have a stroke. <laughs> so I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> I can't find my other shoe, but I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Fits so well. Oh. What a creature we are. It, it also Man. came so unexpected. Like, well, yeah, I mean, we were thinking like for five minutes. Okay, what, what, how should we interact? With <laughs> we pick some. Maybe you should put your fucking shoe on before you start detective work. Uh. Yeah. Jeez, how did that get there anyway? Does that mean we threw it out of the window? I don't know. Um, no, actually, I think uh, our room is even further down the building. <clears throat> so it's not... Uh, mm, so it's unlikely. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? The mystery of the shoe. Okay, um, we now have green snakeskin shoes. Plus one composure. Awesome watchtower heels. Okay, see, the the shoes, apparently, they're a set item. Mm -hmm. They only give you a bonus when you have all of them. Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> this is an RPG. 
in a way, yes. Yeah. And they also give you uh, give us minus one to save your flare. Fair? I, I don't flare. know how to say that. F-L-A-R-R? F-A-I-R-E. Fair. F-A-I... That's... Okay, never mind. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but we do have more bony now. And we can interact with ourselves again. Yeah, let's touch ourselves. Ooh. Secret task complete. Find your other shoe. Gained experience. Plus ten. Did it just say secret task? Secret task. That complete. is a contradiction in terms. <clears throat> what is the point of a secret task? If someone gives you a task, you kind of need to know what it is. Otherwise, it's not really a task. Yeah, but we still completed it. Okay, but this this kind of irks me. So this means they're like... I guess they're like secret rooms or something in Duke Nukem. Mm -hmm. You see, Winston, I need to relate this to games <laughs> that mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Go on. Um, tell me about secret rooms. No, no, I don't. There's nothing to tell. And also, you no, know what I mean. They're secret. Well... <laughs> you never found them. In a way, yeah. I just upset that you never found the secrets. Okay, I know I'm good. Go no, I, I am going to talk about it because you're kind of making me talk about it. But there was uh -huh. this thing, you know, I don't even know if it was in Duke Nukem. I think so. In Duke Nukem 3D and you would complete a level and then you're at the end and you get a kind of scoreboard of, oh, enemies killed and like weapons found. And then there was always this like, okay, secrets found, secret yeah. rooms. Yeah. And you could find all the secrets, or if you didn't, then at that point you would know that you missed something. And it kind of gave the whole world a sense of intrigue and mystery. And mm. I guess um, here we, we now have to kind of... This is why it irks me, because now I have to be on watch for secret tasks all the time, right? Maybe that, that secret butt was a secret task. I mean, no, because we got a task from it. Yeah, okay, but you know what I mean. You kind of have to watch out for weird interactions with the, your surroundings all the time. That's true, yeah. But Which, I also think, saying, saying that out loud, that seems like the name of this game. But. Yeah, I also think this whole game is supposed to be pl played multiple times, so I think, yeah, I think we that just, too. just enjoy it, and if we ever play it again, because we probably will, um, we can look out for different solutions to the same problem or or find more secret tasks finding secrets yes yeah okay we got the mm -hmm. shoe that's a success anyway mm -hmm. all right uh but uh there's more composure there they both are two identical shoes both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin reunited on your feet and we have three options I think the writers are using too many adverbs. Well, adjectives in this case. But okay. Yeah. We'll see how that plays out. Wait. These do not look like normal cop shoes. Second option. How do they fit? Third option. Option. Discard thought. How do they fit? Let's find out. We can morale. Excuse me, what? Apparently we have morale. Um, <clears throat> and composure. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Man. And we end the conversation. With whom? With ourselves. With our composure. Alright. Composure was talking to us. Yes. Alright. It's always... There's always somebody talking to us. I see, I see. And we go in again because there's nothing else out, I think. All right. Well, we found the shoe on the balcony. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's just see is there anything else here to interact with on this corner? I don't think so. Now let's go to the lady and be like, hey, I have shoe, <laughs> wanna fuck? <laughs> this is how this works, right? <laughs> I, I completed the secret task. <laughs> Surely I am here to collect my reward now. <laughs> I am officer. Oh, this is amazing. You have arrest under. I mean, uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to bother the lady anymore. Uh, I feel too much like a creep already. What? I mean, we're, we're already right at her door. I no. just have to click it. Well, fine. Clicking it. Please don't open, lady. Door. Room number three. The door is closed. Try the handle. Knock. Leave. Well, this was kind of your line of inquiry, so what we're are we going to do, Vincent? We're going to knock. All right. I'm tempted to try the handle, but 
You don't want to know where that leads. Exactly. There is no answer. Yeah. Perception. Hearing. Of course, we're listening to the fucking... <laughs> okay. Go full creep mode. Mm -hmm. Perception. Hearing. We're investigating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, easy success. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. So well, she... now you have to try the handle. <laughs> I mean, the important bit here is that she can't pretend she didn't hear us because she was, the shower was on, because it's only now being turned on. Important detail. Oh, okay. Continue. <clears throat> Inland Empire strikes again. Oh, crap. Easy success. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Well, if... what's what? that's not a success. <laughs> I mean... Wait, it... did it continue? There are four options here. Four oh, options. Of course there are options. Number one, we say out loud, I am so alone. <laughs> Number two is, we say out loud, why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Number three is, again, saying out loud, Beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. And mm. number four is swallow the emotion. Uh, beauty, don't abandon me is the most poetic. That would have been my choice. Yeah, it brings the most relief to our predicament. The door does not care. And now we can knock again, try the handle, or leave. Well, what do you want to do? We try the handle. The door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Thank God. We can knock again. Still no answer. Knock again, much harder. I'm going to keep going until you stop me. <laughs> Still nothing. Half light. What? What? Medium success. You should punch a fucking hole in it. <laughs> okay, we have three open options. She's going to shoot us. That's my <laughs> prediction. Probably. We can shout out loud, fucking whore. <laughs> we can punch the door or suppress the urge. This game really is tempting you, though. Mm -hmm. This is what they want, right? Yep. They want you to be the most depraved creep because you want to see what happens. Oh, yes. Well, yeah, okay. Let's, right? You want to do this? Yeah, but I'm, I don't know. Do we... Fucking whore. Okay, let's go. We can uh, reload from a safe game, right? Um, from the safe where we're not a creep? Mm, I, not, I, not, not a... I mean, we. it's been quite a while since we talked to her and told her that we want to have fuck with her. So, you know. I mean, we're just becoming a sexual assailant. <laughs> no, we're a cop. We can't be. We're a cop. I beg to differ. No, no, no. That's not how cop is. Well, I mean, let's do this. I can't, I'm also kind of curious. I want to see how far this game mm -hmm. could take this. Um, half light again. That felt good. Everyone is a whore. Okay. Now, punch a hole in the door. I'm curious. The skill is called half light. Yes. All right. Volition, medium success. Don't. Everyone is a whore. What does that even mean? Breathe in and walk away. This is kind of like you know that trope from like comics and stuff where you have like an angel and a devil on your shoulder mm -hmm. and they're whispering to you. This is kind of what that feels like yeah. with the skills. For me, it feels like a DM telling you. Do you really want to do this? But I also can see the angel and devil kind of thing. Well, the DM would have his own agenda. That's true. And in this case, the agenda <laughs> seems to be really part of these skills. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know. Volition seems to always be the more rational choice. Yeah. Surprising no one. So do we... What, what is off? half light though? Half light is what? Your, your benighted self? Uh, wait, you can... Half light. It's part of physique, and it says, "Let the body take control." Yeah, okay. threaten people. All right, makes sense. Quite. I don't know why it's called half light, but all right. Me neither. All right. What? So what do we do? Punch the door. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, nice sound effect and animation. We just break our hand. You slam your fist into the vinyl. It does not produce a hole. The door sits sturdily in the frame, and you fur and your fist hurts. This was all a very good, normal thing to do. And now we leave. <laughs> this was all a very good, normal thing to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, we were going to leave. Um, bye, Kate. All right. Okay, uh, on we go. Good Unsuccessful assault. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's something to interact here before we walk down the stairs. 
This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspapers Tremblement. I can't speak French, just for everyone wondering. It's okay. You can. I also don't speak French, and I will pronounce French words incorrectly without uh, blushing. And we can interact with ourselves again. With a blue circle this time. Sacre bleu, Vincent! <laughs> oh, please don't. Nothing on the fr front page rings the bell. Strange. Well, obviously we have amnesia. Yes. Why would it? <laughs> uh, no, it's it's strange, apparently. I mean, it is still strange, I grant that, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, maybe it just feels strange. Right? But like, are, the there, are there stories of murders or something? Cases we have to solve. Mm, let's see if I can actually pull up the newspaper here. <clears throat> I'm guessing that I can't, but I still want to know. Did I even grab it? Or was it just gone? I think it's just gone. Okay. In your inventory? Mm, yeah, it's not in my inventory. So no, it's, just... not, it's not that important. Yeah, let's go down the... Uh, what? I'm going to highlight stuff. Nope. Can't do anything. So we walk down the stairs. Yep. Oh, I just noticed there are tips. Ooh, and now we get an like a camera pan of the whole area. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we are in the uh, east corner of a building. Mm -hmm. um, there is a small stage here uh, with a microphone and uh, a bar next to it. Um, right in front of the stage is the mosaic I was talking about and there are um, uh, multiple uh, multiple tables and some well at least one drunken person but it's mostly empty <clears throat> this is like a dancing place I guess so yes like there's an open space in front of the uh, in front of the stage but it's also it seems to be like half bar half dancing place yeah okay uh, okay, we have multiple things to interact to. Can, I'm just gonna run through the interactions with, I'm assuming are just like one lines, one liners. Okay. So I'm standing up on the stage now and I can interact with a microphone. Yeah, that's thing, we're a superstar. And for some reason he walks. Da, okay. A big old karaoke mic from uh, just waiting for someone to sing into it. Oh, it's a karaoke bar. Oh, okay. And there's a page over there next to us. This is where the lyrics would be. Okay. Yeah. We're a superstar. And what is this? I'm next to the bar now. This looks like it's some sort of window shutter or something. Standing. Oh, it's a speaker. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is see uh, seasoned with static. I didn't realize that this... A speaker because it seems to be 2D. Okay. And we can, oh, we can interact with ourselves. That's <clears> always a good one. Inland Empire. You should totally sing karaoke. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. Thanks, Inland Empire. I was gonna do that anyway, but now I'm gonna do it even more. Oh, yes. Um, can we sing? Mm, I think not at the moment, oh. but probably uh, later. Maybe uh, we will return. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, we have five options here. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul's skewy content is obscured by the hangover. And we can discard the thought. Hangover. Hangover. <clears throat> Of course, at this point, precise measurements of your souls can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard. Okay, it's pushing us to sing again. Through a PA system. By other people. These are options? or No, that's just the Inland right. Empire speaking right. in paragraphs. Uh, and Half Light comes through again. Mm. Medium, success. I really wonder what happens if we fail one of these things where we don't I even think that it just doesn't announce it I guess so, so I mean these are automatic checks yeah 
Um, whether they like it or not, ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. What should I sing when it comes to us? It. Inland Empire, you have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It will come to you. You'll wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. We have two options. Lamentation sounds good. They really get a god. Gotch? Like, how do you pronounce it? G A U G E. Gauge. Gauge, exactly. Thank you. Gauge on my soul with that. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the people going. Lamentation sounds good. They really get a gauge on my soul with that. Serve them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing, laughing now? No one. I think that's a meta commentary on the game itself. About the game makers making lamentations of their soul. Mm -hmm. Who's laughing now, players? <laughs> no one. Well, well, I laughed a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> um, your task. Sing karaoke. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. I'm glad that's not a secret task. Yep. But it's also pretty obvious that we talked about it. Yeah, I was going to do it anyway. Yep. But um, apparently we can't because we have to find something to sing, which is kind of weird for a karaoke thing. Isn't the whole point that you get the lyrics? Yeah, anyway. I guess so. It, the oh. bar is kind of not on, right? And the point is the microphone isn't clickable. Yeah. That's the main obstacle here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we can talk to the barman. We can click some things around him. Uh, there's a door next to him to the kitchen area. And then um, in the, I'd say, south east, there are two more characters and a few more interactables. But I've so much. That, here's what we're <coughs> going to do. Let's walk. <coughs> not talk to anyone. Walk straight into the kitchen. Because we have a hangover and we want to eat something to soak up all the alcohol. Okay. Um, I also noticed once we walk towards the kitchen, we can interact with ourselves. Yeah, that's always good. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working and then my screen is not white enough to display the full text. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think that's great, Vincent. No, not really. Okay. But that's... it's also, it wasn't such an important message, no. I think. Let's walk into the kitchen. Yeah, get some juice. Let's get all juiced up. The door is bolted. A sign reads, Kitchen reserved for personal until uh, one o'clock. Oh. So that's four and a half hours away. Crap. Okay, let's talk to the bar guy. Yeah, I guess Maybe so. he can set yeah. it up with some juice. I'm just going to, uh, before doing that, there are two more interactables right next to him that are one-liners. Okay. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Man, I'm glad I clicked that. And the menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. They're setting up. Mm -hmm. It is Monday today. And, well, there are also interactables. Well, there's one interactable right next to him, but let's first talk to him. Okay. <gasps> Wait, I can run? Dear Lord, that man looks like he's going to die from running. But we can run, apparently. But do we have to run to get to the bartender? No, I just double-clicked something and he started running and I was right. su surprised that our character That's didn't die. That's good to know for an emergency, Vincent. Yes. Uh, again, I'm wondering how to pronounce it. His name is spelled G-A-R-T-E. Gart? G-A-R-T-E. I'm all, When you say these names and they're weird names, in my mind what I'm doing is always going through the various anagrams to, to decode possible mm. hidden messages. Mm -hmm. Unsuccessfully so far. Uh, let's call this guy Gart. Gart, okay. Um, <clears throat> Gart, the cafeteria manager, who, interestingly enough, you we always get like a um, small portrait of them um, next to the text. Great is an anagram for this guy. Yes. Uh -huh. He's already grading at me. Um, and he looks, the face at least, looks surprisingly similar to our main character. Like mm. with a slightly red nose, very white skin. Just a note. Um, <clears throat> a man in his late 20s stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. 
As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Continue. All right. Empathy. Easy success. This, that was the stain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposefully ignoring you. Oh man, people don't like us. No. And I can't even blame them. We have four options here. Obviously, we can leave. And then we can say, something tells me you don't like me. We can look at Mm. the stuffed bird. And we can ask him if he is the bartender. I, I want to look at the okay, at the last option. It's funny because it's so <laughs> such a pointless question. Uh-huh. I want to look at the stuff bird because I think this will trigger in my damper. No, yeah. because it's weird. That's an interesting thought. Let's see. Look at the stuffed bird. We'll get an intuition. A competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Oh, that's what he was doing. He's a taxidermy enthusiast, working in a karaoke bar. Of course. Yeah. What? <laughs> any sure. O- any options? <clears throat> no, we're continuing. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Continuing This again. may be a clue. There may have been a fight here last night. Could be. Inland Empire. And you were there you correct. Go. There you God go. What can damn. I say? I got You're this game good. figured out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what does it say? It's a medium success. And, well, no, it's not a medium success. It's The difficulty is medium and it was a success. Um, something about it makes you feel bitter. Huh. We have three options now. One. What happened to that bird? Two, can I help you with that? And three, say nothing. Yeah, let's ask him what happened to that bird. We're a police officer. He better answers us truthfully. Well, you'll see. Yeah. Look. Your buddy is over there. Our buddy. Vincent, we have a buddy. We're not alone in this world. And I was honestly surprised by the voice acting. I didn't expect that. Yeah, but I don't know. Is it going to continue? We'll see. It was like the lady, you know. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, look, your buddy is over there. Uh, he looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot of on the floor. Of course he's wearing a bomber jacket. <laughs> Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Man, that, the, I love these voices, actors. Like, just the tone of saying, fuck off. Yeah, I mean, the, the voice reminds me of someone, but I can't figure out who. Well, it sounded vaguely British, right? Yeah. Why don't you talk to him over there? Uh, oh, I, I think I know. Um, do you know who played Vision in the Avengers game? Uh, not games, uh, movies? Vision? Yes. No, and I haven't seen all the movies. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know who Vision is. Sounds like my kind of superhero. A piece of robot. So, oh. sort of. Um, okay, yeah, but the actor. Oh, was he the, like the creation of Tony Stark? Yes. Yeah, I've seen that at the end of some movie. Jarvis was in him, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Exactly. I know who you speak of. Uh, and I feel like he sounds very similar. Might to be Jarvis? Be... Yeah. Not oh, wasn't Jarvis... Jarvis voiced by Jude Law? No. no. But Jude Law is also similar. Maybe, Maybe I'm right, Vincent, and he was voiced by Jude no, Law. No, he wasn't. I know, who, I know who voiced him. I just hold on. Inland Empire is telling me something. <laughs> it's telling me that Vision was voiced Fuck by Jude Law. Off. No, no, uh, I just can't remember the name. Um, he's an amazing actor. Uh, All right. Well, maybe we can figure it out one day. Yes. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so the question was from him. Why don't you go and talk to him? Okay. I feel like that was a rhetorical question. You think so? Yeah, I think it's actually a suggestion to actually just leave. You think? Yeah. What are the options? Uh, we can ask him, what do you mean, my buddy? And uh, I'm a cop. I talk to her, whomever I please. Uh, let's pick the second one, but just to get more voice lines from that guy. Oh, yes. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Ugh, everyone does that. No. That is really kind of insulting. Yeah, that's, that's down calling. Um <laughs> No one knows what that means. <laughs> Something tells me you don't like me. Look yeah. at the stuffed bird. Are you a bartender? Or are you the bartender? That's the three options. Yeah, the what, what do you want to pick? Um, 
Uh, I like the Are You the Bartender? Yeah, me too. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He does sound like Jude Law. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they got Jude Law. That would be great. We also, I mean, it was the pointless question after all. He's the cafeteria manager. Yeah, I like that he tells us that while his name in the game is Guard, the cafeteria manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, okay. okay. Another clue. Yes, and now we have three options. What's the What's the difference? You look like a bartender and understood. Man, this guy. <laughs> Can you imagine this guy? <laughs> You're still half drunk, probably smelling like piss. <laughs> like, <laughs> you look like a bartender. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, we're so awful. As, at least we have both shoes, okay? <laughs> oh my God, like we were almost sexually assaulted a woman this morning. Now we're harassing this guy. This is awful. I Why mean, would anyone... Uh, we have been out of our room for 20 minutes. <laughs> we well, almost I, died. We sexually harassed a woman and now we're harassing him. And all right. Wow. I wish we could tell this yeah. guy I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that too. Oh, God. All right. What do we tell this guy? Um... Well, I like following that line of thought. You look like a bartender. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's be <laughs> shitty. Mm -hmm. Ugh. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind the counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. This seems weirdly important to that guy. Yeah. He, like he's making a big point mm -hmm. with his cafeteria management. Yeah, well... That period of his life. Anyway, that goes in my clue book. That guy has a shadowy past. We just figured that out, Vincent. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, now I'm wondering what kind of shadowy past he, he's trying to hide from well, us. Well, a bartender past. Yeah. Probably lots of drinking involved. Takes one to know one, kid. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, what's now, the difference? That's the, an option? Yeah. Or we can just understand and go on in the mm. conversation. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Mm. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Sophie is the girl we harassed? No. No? No, I remember because... She, yeah, she, she was like called Kaji or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, where did this Sylvie go? She just, you know. She shrugs. She is, you know. Empathy. There's something there, and it is not good. That's all you know for now. She's like, maybe she's the one who got murdered. <sighs> oh, could be. She probably didn't show up to work. Hmm. We need a case to put our amnesiac mind to. Let's make our way to our buddy. Um, we have one more line of questioning, if you want to do that. What is it? Something tells me you don't like me. Didn't we ask him that already? No. Well, let's do it then. Oh no, you're a hero, a real hero cop. He says without looking up. I think that's sarcasm. I agree. Yep. It's well played there. Um, <clears throat> and even better, we can say, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> wow, it's I could have made this game. Mm -hmm. I also just, I like the second option though. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero, um, which is countering yeah. his sarcasm with our sarcasm. Well, it's not Maybe. really sarcasm. It's more, I don't know what, let's take it though. The, am I a hero? Yeah. Yes, you are a real decorated hero. Yes, you are also a real decorated hero. What did I do? What did you not do? First? You took the body down, then you sold the murder, then you didn't fight my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Oh my god, I did all those things? Wait, I didn't quite understand him. Mm -hmm. You took down the body? Yes. And then you solved the murder, then you didn't trash my host hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. I mean, he's in, this is important because he's implying that now all of these things we didn't do, right? Yes. So we probably didn't take down the body, we didn't solve the murder, 
We trashed his hotel room uh -huh. and the bar or whatever, and then we didn't negotiate the strike. So there's some kind of strike going on. I guess so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just teasing us apart, you know. But now we know there is a body, and there is yes. a murder. Yes. And we are supposed to be involved with it. With We're our, our police officer. Yes, but Wrong. we are not. Uh, not, not involved with not, it. Not quite a hero yet. Yes. Let's but see about this. Now Mr. we are taking manager. Yes, we are taking the wheel, and we've already sexually harassed a woman, so we're good to go. Yeah, but that doesn't count because it was kind of just for fun. <laughs> but like now, uh, volition is in charge, man. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah. So we have three options. Oh my god, did I did all those things? Number two, I'm guessing I didn't do any of those yeah, things. Yeah, let's take number two. And three, I do not appreciate your tone. This is no way to talk to an officer. Oh, come on, let's not pull that one. No, no, two. You're right, you didn't. And it's only taken us three days not to. It's really quiet. It's been, th yeah, I know. Maybe we have to fix the volume, I don't know. No. Anyway, um, we... Uh, now, now that it's been three days. Yes. What have I been doing all that time? Have you seen me around? That seems like a trap. No, but let's ask him. I want to know. Yeah, that's the our, our oh, only I option. See. That yep. wasn't your comment. No. No, let's no, take one. I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. No one seems to be really bothered by our amnesia. Maybe that's also normal for us. Yeah, or maybe they just don't care to interact with that yeah. us at all. <clears throat> uh, he looks down again and keeps plucking at the bird. And now we can leave. All right. Good luck with your bird, Mr. Manager. Yes. Okay, we can walk out that way. Or we can go to our friend, our buddy. Let's go to our friend. Okay. The music is moving around. A sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for union members. Door opens. Ooh. Four o'clock. It's okay. like a strike thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we're basically walking along a wall and there's a door to the kitchen and then next to that kitchen, still behind the wall, is the mess hall. Mm -hmm. uh, and, okay, we're coming up on a, a pair of people. One is our friend in the bomber jacket and then there's a woman in a wheelchair. <clears throat> and mm. next to her is, I'm not exactly sure what, some kind of contraption that I'm... Oh, this royal pinball machine is unplugged. Hmm. Okay, that, I mean, looks like a pinball machine. But, but it's, it's royal. It's royal, and it also has, like, these um, <clears throat> these white hair... Uh, how do you call them? Fur? No. Uh, like the judges used to wear. Like ages oh, ago. like a wig. With yeah, like, it's a wig, exactly. Uh, yeah, locks. And that threw me off. But it makes sense if it's why. Okay, so we can talk to the lady or our friend. Let's talk to our friend. Okay. Kim Kitsuhagi. Kitsuhagi? Kitsuhagi? All right. Kitsuhagi. Kim. Let's call him Kim. Yes. Uh, just the R field so out of place there. Um, <clears throat> the bespectacled. Bespectacled? Bespectacled. Yes. Bespectacled man. He's got glasses. Yes. I'm just reading. Um, man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Well, As you we approach, are. he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. A sprite decor, medium success. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this. Really? But why? <clears throat> it's a uh, success, so... We have to believe it. Still seems unlikely. Well... But okay. Uh, I guess he's not doing it for us specifically, but more for whatever we represent. We don't know. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, three options. Hold on. Who is he to me? Number two, shake his hand. Number three, don't shake his hand. Let's shake his hand. Shake his hand. Nice. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. 
You must be from the 41st. All right, it's another cop. Mm -hmm. You realize he's waiting for your name. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Inland Empire. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Yeah, I Get agree. Creative. Yeah. Conceptualize. With three options. Number one, I don't really know my name. Number three, say nothing. Number two, conceptualize. Medium, 11. Invent a name for yourself. And our chance is 28%. Yeah, let's invent. Let's follow the advice of Inland Empire. Let's go. We rolled a three. That's not good. Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Fuck. <laughs> was that because it was a failure? Because of your name? Costo? That's the last name? Costo. C-O-S-T-O? C-O-S-T-E-A-U. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, guess that's our name now. <laughs> we have four options. Number one, it's so cool. Number two, it's very cool. But won't I come off like a douche if I call myself that? Oh, yeah. Number three, it's very, very cool. But maybe just a bit too ostentatious. Number four, um, <clears throat> my name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Number four. <laughs> Let's gotta go, go with it. Yes. Well. He doesn't even process what you just said. He thinks we're just a douchebag. Moves on. <laughs> yeah. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? We have three options. You mean him, not towards the cafeteria manager? Yeah, and just talk to him. Number two? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't mean, did we interact with him with speech? It's like, did we interrogate him? I also, but I love this incompetence. I also love that second option. No, I haven't. Because we literally we came <laughs> we down... We just did that. <laughs> yeah, we, we came down the stairs, smelling... <laughs> Basically making the whole room smell of booze. Yeah. And piss. Tumbling to, <laughs> and piss, right? Tumbling towards the bar bar. <laughs> trying to rattle on the door to the kitchen. Yeah, forget in the kitchen. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. work. Then we go to the bar. <laughs> step to the bar. Yeah. Stare at the bird for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Then talk to the guy. Yeah, probably loud enough for him to hear us. <laughs> Come over to him. <laughs> <laughs> After his question, if you have uh, talked to the yeah, cafeteria I mean, the great thing is, we don't just talk to the cafeteria guy. We stand there and sing loudly, <laughs> what did I do the last three days? What's the difference between a bartender and a cafeteria manager? And oh, then God. we like walk off and we say, oh, oh, did I talk to the manager? No, I never talked to him. I never spoke to him. <laughs> but the thing is that that's... Oh, in a God. way, that's an ambiguous statement, and it's the most reasonable statement in one way, because mm -hmm. that would be saying to this guy now, no, I never talked to him, in the sense of, no, no, I never interrogated him properly. No. I just had chit-chat. But I don't know, I, I want to I wanna be the, inc I, I love the incompetent option, because <laughs> that is the most truthful one. Yeah. And just say, yeah, I just talked to him. Uh. <laughs> I want this guy to who will sacrifice himself for it. I want him to roll his eyes. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there's also a third option. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. But I think that's not interesting to either of them. No. So, um, okay. So, you mean him? Not towards the cafeteria manager? Yeah, I just talked to him. I just talked to him. Mind, yeah. We should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is all bad, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interview? <laughs> First option, yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's not what a police officer would say. No, the other options are what interviews? I have, yes, and I haven't. What is this exactly referring to? Uh, um, have you mapped out the initial interviews? Oh, what interviews? Okay, what interviews? Yeah. At the 57, would you like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface? 
prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter district practice. <laughs> He's weirdly polite. Yeah, uh, we still have the other three options. Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. I have, yes, and I have. To. I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. The mm. coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Five options. Uh, mm, uh, okay. Dead body? Question mark. <laughs> I don't like dead bodies. Look, man. You know. Yeah. No. Completely. Yeah, you know that's that's like that's just <laughs> your opinion, man. <laughs> yeah. So, what was the last option? Yes, completely. Um. Uh, just completely. Just completely. Yeah. No, Have you removed the body? Just completely. No, no, no. It's completely. Oh, I, you were saying. Yeah, that. I see. Uh, let's just say we haven't. Okay. Uh, no. So the body is still in the tree. <laughs> Empathy. This is the first time you detect a wariness in the lieutenant's voice. Oh. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. But what it tree? Been hanging for seven days straight. Oh God! We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the yeah. law. <clears throat> but where's this tree he speaks of? I don't know, but probably close by. Yeah. Okay. Um, five options. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? The game seems to want us to pursue this. Well, it's still keeping the option open. Um, number two. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? Okay, yeah, I see, see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, number three, but I can't remember anything. Number four, what were you, we supposed to do again? Let's take the first option. Take the bait. And okay, the last option option is let's get going then. Oh, okay. No. <clears throat> uh, so uh, we said, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? And he responds. We all feel that way sometimes. There's no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there's a dead body in the trees. Tree. Wait, that was that's kind of a weird response. There's no such thing as a police officer. I guess not. That's um, that's a weird, dreamy. This isn't real response. What is this? Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. Oh, this is more like a. Is this in your mind? <clears throat> no, I, I, he's he's saying that, but yeah. I think his answer is more like um, we're not policemen, just as our job. It's our duty as human beings to remove this body. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, he's kind of dodging our question, though. Do we have more? Oh God, where am I? What is this options? Um, he concludes, but first we have to take it down. <clears throat> so we have. The same options. Um, how can you be so sure I'm from the police? But I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? And let's get going then. All right, check the second option. I mean, the first now. The, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. <clears throat> I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. He points to That's the, the rectangle. Mm. The enigmatic rectangle. Interesting point. He also has these rectangles on his back and sleeve, maybe. There sleeve you go. is hard to see, but back certainly. Uh, I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. <clears throat> Very um, gracious. Three options. Uh, expect. General, number two, you said insignia. These white rectangles, you mean? Point to your sleeves. And number three, okay then. Expectorate General. Internal Affairs, and I'm not, uh, and I'm not them. I'm from Criminal Investigation. Right. Same two options. You said insignia, and okay then. No, okay then. We figured the insignia out on our own. He nods. And back to the original five options. Um, <clears throat> we have left, but I can't remember. I can't remember anything. 
What are, what were we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. But I can't remember anything. Mm. He looks at you for a moment in silence. <laughs> I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through much worse. Much <laughs> really? worse. Wow. If okay. you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But, as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Pain threshold. Yeah, a painkiller would be good about now. The thing is pulsating with discomfort. Electrochemistry. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. They won't have that, so cigarettes that's will have like, to do. That's exactly what electrochemistry would say. <laughs> yeah. They're not, it's, not, it's never going to say, yeah, drink a glass of water. Straight to the opium. Yes. Okay. I guess this is another secret task. Get painkillers? Mm. <clears throat> Maybe not so secret. No, because um, this last sentence was, they won't have that, so cigarettes will have to do. I think that's just a continuation oh, yeah. of the cigarette task. It was just a trick to get us smoking again. Yeah. Um, so we have, what were we supposed to do again left, and let's get going then. What I were we supposed to do? Let's click through all the okay. dialogue options. Talk to the manager, then we go out back and take the body down. Let's okay. get going then. I want to talk to the disabled girl because, oh, that's so cool. Disabled representation in video games. Yay. That's my topic. We have two new tasks before we do that. Uh, interview cafeteria manager uh -huh. and inspect the victim's body. Right. After you, officer. Continue. Logic. Trivial success. If you're about to embark on an inv in investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? <clears throat> and we can say it's only option. Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? Check your pockets. Yeah, check them. You mean you don't have a badge? With two options. It wasn't on me when I woke up. Number two, pretend you found it. I have my badge. I'm a policeman <laughs> and I have my badge. <laughs> this is kind of funny. What Number do you two? want to do? Yeah, I want to pretend. Okay. New task. Report your bag mi uh, badge missing. Hmm. He says, oh, ah. Uh, there's a moment pause, then he continues, obviously relieved. If he doesn't care. you didn't have your badge, then that would be very, very bad. You would right. need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Yeah, yeah. Right? Lieutenant Kim Kizuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever. He's in our him. party. Dear Lord, this is... A I didn't know this is a party RPG. <clears throat> what can yes, he do? Can he cast magic missile? Where is the dungeon? The entangle spell? Okay, I can, I can talk to him. And he just follows me around, I think. Okay. Nothing, leave. Can I click on his portrait? Nope. nope. We can make him carry our heavy items. Like mm. plate mail. Yeah, I don't and think we have any. stacks of arrows. 20 apiece, Vincent. <laughs> anyway, talk to the girl. Uh, we can also talk more to him, since he's now in our party, but let's yeah, talk Yeah, but he's not going anywhere, exactly, so... Hello, the elder we elderly woman turns to you with a smile. Lena, the cryptozoologist... Oh, the cryptozoologist's wife. <laughs> of course. Cryptozoologist's <laughs> wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Does she have anything more to say? Um, I clicked continue and we had a easy success for reaction speed. Wait, who's sweetie? So yeah. we have three options. We can leave, obviously. We can ask who's sweetie and does that mean you like me? No, let's ask her who because then maybe we get our real name. Why? You are awesome. Damn it. Okay. She's obviously demented. <laughs> She's just nice. Doesn't Nobody's nice to us. I got that. So I got that part. Well, I mean, maybe you're right. I'm no sweetie. Look at me. Mm, maybe I am. These are the two options. I'm no sweetie. Look at me. You are a handsome man, officer, with your moustache and your chiseled jaw, and that silly dimple on your chin. 
Hey, she's making me feel kind of better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we are, sweetie. Maybe things aren't so bad. Yeah. Any um, more options? Um, we have four options here. Thanks, I appreciate it. Dimple or not, I am a bitter man. The years have taken their toll. Oh, come on. Now you've got to stop whining. That stupid dimple has only brought me suffering. And I don't want to talk about the dimple anymore. Let's no, just thank the nice lady. Thanks. I appreciate it. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I noticed, but I didn't want to say anything. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks up, smiling. That was like a lot of information and I can't remember it. Her name is Lena. Yeah. Her husband is named Morel and they are both staying with their friend Gary just down the street. All right. And she comes here <clears throat> um, she comes here for tea when they are away. Yeah, okay. I will not be able to remember this, but yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I understand. Um, uh, the spread... How do you actually say that? Spread? Spirit? Sprite? What, what do you mean? The word sprite? S-P-R-I-T-E? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sprite. The Sprite, uh, Sprite Accord, um, told us, tells us, <clears throat> this Lena is wacky enough. Wait, is it Esprit? Is it French? It, I don't, I told you. Are you no telling French. me you don't speak French? Yes. I think it's Esprit de Corps. Sure. Is that possible? That could be it. Yeah, I don't, I don't speak French. So Esprit de Corps. This Lena is... <laughs> Wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Oh, can she join our party? I don't know. Is she going to be a <clears throat> citizen investigator? Um, well, let's see. We have four options here. Number one is, you seem to be in a chair. <laughs> Number two is, how would you like to roll with me? <laughs> Number three is, I don't know if you have noticed, but I don't know where I am. Or what I'm doing. <laughs> These or, are all wonderful. Or anything. <laughs> I want to pick all of them, <laughs> but I want to. I want to take the, the sort of sheepishly thing. I don't. I like leaning down and looking <laughs> left and right. I, I. I don't know if you noticed. Of course she noticed. <laughs> Everybody's noticing. Yeah. Like we don't know what the fuck is going on. He's probably leaning down, whispering into her ear loud enough that everybody can hear. Yeah, like, um, I don't, I don't know if you know. Yeah, let's pick that one. Okay. Her eyes follow your movements with some concern. Yes, officer, you look rather dazed, <laughs> like a stunt fox. But surely things can be that bad. She's such a stately lady. She probably did go hunting for foxes or something. Suggestion. She won't judge you, no matter what you say. Hmm. That makes it sound like she has no standards. Yeah. But well, we can also take advantage of this. Well, let's see. We have three options. Yeah. Number one is, I drank so hard, I forgot <laughs> literally any everything. Yeah. So hard <laughs> Just looking at the mirror was a challenge for us. <laughs> yeah, we almost died grabbing. Our, we uh, didn't even get... Man, why did you have to bring up the tie? <laughs> man, we probably would have cracked this fucking case by now if we had had the tie. Probably, yeah. Anyway, what's option number two? Uh, I hope you're right. I hope it's not too bad. The number three is... Yeah, I'm blowing this whole thing out of proportion. <laughs> Forgot it said anything. <laughs> I also like the idea of him just almost shouting that idea. <laughs> what, shouting the, I'm blowing this out of proportion. Yeah. It's a bit, and it's a bit of an unhinged cop. Yeah, stumbling back towards the bar. Have you seen the movie Bad Lieutenant by Werner yeah. Herzog? Uh -huh. This is how I'm imagining this guy kind of. <clears throat> Shoot him again. His soul is still dancing. <laughs> yeah. Is exactly. this guy, is our main character played by Nicolas Cage? No, sadly not. It would have been a good cast, though. Yeah. Buddy cop movie, Jude Law, Nicolas Cage. Mm -hmm. Go. No, I agree. 
Yeah, okay. What do we tell this old lady, Vincent? I think we just tell her the truth and tell her that we drank so hard that yeah, all right. we forgot everything. So best, the whole bathtub was full of oh, cola yeah. bottles. So, best guess. Her response. Oh, my. Takes a moment to process. Process. You know where we are, right? Uh, what well, kind of? <laughs> yeah, Karaoke <we're>, bar? <laughs> but you get tea here, okay. We have four options. The Whirling and Rex cafeteria. It was on my keys. Number two. <laughs> I like I don't... the it was on my keys edition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't know, but I read it. <laughs> um, number two is, I don't really know. Some seedy hotel? Number three, a war zone at the edge of the world. Mm. And number four, we are dead. Haunting each other. We're ghosts. That's probably the accurate option, but let's go with number one. Okay. Uh, that's right. And where's the whirling in Rex cafeteria itself lo located? Oh, she's testing us now. Oh. She's being like <clears throat> elementary school teacher lady. Mm -hmm. That's right, little one. And where is that? Mm -hmm. So what are the options? The options are the edge of civilization <laughs> in hell. We are all in hell. We're in hell, Mrs. Lena. And see, I have no idea. Let's go with hell. I wonder what she says. <laughs> she flashes you a worried look. Oh. <laughs> We're in the city of Ravashal. Ravashal? Ravashal? God damn it, these names. Rakanishu? Uh, That's from a game I know. Yeah. Um, it's Ravashal. Yeah, it's Whatever. spelled. I don't speak French. <laughs> Me neither. But it's spelled R E V A C H O L. Ravacho. Ravacho. Yeah, I'm already processing the anagrams. Yeah, okay. Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. Um, <clears throat> our two options are. Mm, okay. And honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Ravacol. What kind of place is this? Yeah, let's take that one. Diddly squat. Diddly, that seems uncharacteristic. Yeah. Okay. Her grey eyes widen. How would I even begin to tell you? Ravakal is the most beautiful city in the world. And now I know she's full of shit. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. Oh yeah. She's too positive. I haven't seen very many other cities personally. Yeah, no shit. But everyone says so. Ravakal is a rare jewel. This city used to be used to rule the world. Though it has seen better days. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year it is? Yes? Yeah, we figured that out. Uh, so... 51. <clears throat> yeah, first option, it's the spring of 51. Uh, second option is, sure, it's the year 973. Uh, <clears throat> number oh, three. Wrong. Yeah, number three is all I know is we are approaching the end times, <laughs> and number four is it's a bad year in my late forties or fifties. I don't even know how old I am. <laughs> all this negativity. <laughs> Let's just pick the accurate option. Yeah. <gasps> you gained a level kind green ape pen. That's right, dear. How splendid! Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Man, we got a pen. Composure, easy success. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there, but now she relaxes her shoulders. Because we got something right. We're not completely worthless. Oh, God, this is a lot of text. Uh, I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? With six options here. Some kind of democracy, maybe. I'd like to think it's a dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. You wouldn't have strikes then. Right? Right. Um, number three is our, our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds. Civilization cowers before us. Which, I mean, she already said something about the city not ruling anymore. It's <clears throat> true. Number four is, we are governed by intelligent, mach intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market. 
Everyone hustles and grinds like a bad ass visionary. That's like our world, right? Yeah, I guess. Um, Scathing commentary by this mm -hmm. deeply political game. And number five, radios are being used to control people's mind and distort our perception of reality. Oh, that's a crazy option. Seeing our true masters, foreigners, and women. Number six is cop. We're living under the cop regime. Cop? <laughs> cop. Cop. We're living under the cop regime. Cop. Yeah. What? I like that option the most. Yeah, me too. Actually, she raises her fingers, we are not. You could say that about almost any other nation, but not Ravakol. Wow. Try Free from the cob. Try one more time, officer. What mode of government? Authority. Damn it. I was really hoping it would be Cobwell. Okay, well, let's see. For some reason, I imagine authority as dread. Like just, just dread? dread yeah. yeah, that works. I see I that. I am the law. Mm -hmm. um, okay, the options uh, are basically the same, I think. Oh, with the democracy? Uh, yeah, democracy, uh, dictatorship of the proletariat. Uh, <clears throat> Leaders are fierce warriors who traverse our planes on uh, the planes on steeds. We are governed by intelligence machine, intelligent machines, and radios are used for mind control. Democracy. Nope, sadly not. Havakul is what a, uh, is what is called a zone of control under an alliance of alliance of foreign powers called the coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is, she thinks, market-driven. Two so options. It's, hmm? Yeah, is it the machine option? I guess. What are the options now? Um, if there's no government, how come there are cops? Yeah, and good question. I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> really? Let's, let's ask about the cops. Oh dear, she shakes her head, suddenly very worried. Ah, uh, and you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Ravachel. Not in the traditional sense. The statues of law enforcement has be been a complicated matter since the revolution. <clears throat> but we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need to take a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. Hmm. Half light. She's scared now. She realized you really are brain damaged. With three options. So, how did I do? Number two. What is the revolution you mentioned? And who could tell me more? Um. The number th the third option also concludes the whole exchange apparently. Ask about the revolution. What is the revolution you mentioned? <clears throat> A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago, archipelago yeah. tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. Ah, oh, we were squashed. This was 40 years ago, like 42 years ago. And we have two options. What does that have to do with there not being any cops? I am a cop. I'd whatever, say that. Whatever it was hasn't stopped me. So number two? Yeah. Of course, sweetie. I, I really don't know how to explain it better. Empathy. I'm just a poor woman. She, think, she thinks. What do I know of these things? How can I help you? So... Same options. So how did I do? And you could tell me. Now let's get a test score. How did I do? You were doing quite well up until the end there. <laughs> it does look like you were having trouble remembering things. History and places. Remembering reality in a world. It's very odd. Yeah, it is odd. Kim behind us. A sigh. The lieutenant buries it, his nose in his notebook. And she again. Maybe a 
fresh set of eyes is what this world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I wouldn't worry too much about. Yeah, I like her attitude. Bullish. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. Yeah. So, last option. Who could tell me more? Okay. Someone more educated in sweeping matters? Maybe you should ask. She turns to the lieutenant. <clears throat> no, she sure. looks away. Ask the lieutenant <clears throat> about our government. <laughs> yeah. No, he looks away. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Ooh. That's what he says? Or? Yep. Okay. Hardcore detective. New task. Get reality load a uh, lowdown. Lowdown, okay. Cool task. Of course, she turns to you. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Yeah, I don't know either. Me neither. Um, well, but I mean, we've already had a lot of exposition loaded up into the wheelchair and put it in the corner of the game, so... Yeah, um, yeah. we have two more questions to ask her. Um, All right. You seem to be in a chair, and how would you like to roll with me? Oh, I love... Yeah, I'm so glad those came, Those are funny. Like the first one. Just state that she's in a chair. That's always a good one. Yes, dear. I'm a paraplectic. Paraplectic? Paraplegic. Paraplegic. Thank you. What is a paraplegic? Could I become a paraplegic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go with this. What is a, what is a paraplegic? Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, the other ones are proceeding. It means I can't use my legs. It was in an accident some years back. I was in an accident some years back, injured in the line of duty, as they say. Oh, is she part of the revolution? That's a good question, because we have three options. Were you a rugby player? Were you a mountaineer? Were you a tightrope walker? Were you a tightrope walker? Uh, nothing so extravagant, dear. Though what young girl doesn't dream of soaring over a crowd? What did you do then? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> nice. You'd think I would be you'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere. And well once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. So was, it was just an accident. <clears throat> yeah. Random. I was lucky. This was almost twenty years ago, and I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. She runs her hands over the chrome wheels of her chair. <laughs> Showing off her cool chrome. Yeah. Uh, nice. So that only leaves us with, could I become a paraplegic? Yeah, can I? What a stupid question. <laughs> but it fits our detective. Um, I hope not, although the work you are doing for all of us is quite dangerous. So you still have a chance. <laughs> Yeah, uh, her eyes glimmer with admiration as she looks up to you. Authority, towering over her in your, is your, towering over her in your insignia. You make her feel safe. Yeah. <clears throat> we have three options. Not grimly. Someone has to do it. Number two. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Hanging out in a chair, playing pinball. Number three. I'm not sure I should be in this line of work. No, I like the nodding grimly. Nodding grimly. Finally take responsibility. Someone has to do it. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I am a cop, but someone has to do it. <laughs> I think that's the point, right? <laughs> yeah. But not you. You're volunteering. So, thank you, sweetie. Pain threshold. So you volunteered. Sometimes in the past. For the beatdown and the hair of bullets. So very ah, you. Maybe we did become a voluntary cop because this is a weird state. Yeah. Okay, that leaves us with two options. Both of them proceed. Um, the first one is, I'm sorry, I was. it was rude of me to mention the wheelchair. Let's move on. And thanks for clearing that up for me. 
Let's move on. No apologizing. No problem, she nods, smiling up at you from behind her glasses. There is no bitterness in her voice. That's empathy. She accepts the curiosity her condition inspires a long time ago. Nice. And that only leaves us with one more option. How do you like to roll with me? Yeah, how do you? Her eyes light up. Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair wheelchair partner in fighting crimes, riding back. Is she up. actually going to join our party? I don't know. I hope I hope she does. That would be amazing. Ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Number two, roll us some cigarettes. I'm jonasizing for smoke. <laughs> jonasing? Jonasing. It's, it's, <clears throat> a, it's a play on words on the rolling. Yeah. Uh, and nothing. I was thinking of the lyrics to a song. Want to roll with me? Nonsense. The first option. Let's get her in the party. I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, ridding backyards of corpses and catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? Oh my! She sounds impressed. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. Ah, see? I knew it! We should have talked to her first! God damn it! Yeah, Fucked for it the up. next playthrough. <clears throat> yeah. Also, that's funny that they sequence killer or serial killer, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> A partner, that's Kim speaking, a partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Oh, he's such a buzzkill. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Number one, Kim, of course. I forgot I had you. <laughs> uh, Number two, I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries. Sequen sequence killers and forays into the paranormal. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> and number three, you're probably right, Kim. Let's take number two. Let's be an idiot. I can assure you with absolute certainty there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. That's Kim speaking. All right. And Lena. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. She turns to you. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. We have two options. Why? Three heads are better than two. And you're probably right. You're probably right. She looks out the window wistfully. I really would like to help you out. But I don't want to slow you down. If it weren't for all the stairs and potholes in matinees, I'd join you for sure. And that's it. I've got to get going now. All right. That was kind of a pointless conversation. I guess there was <clears throat> some exposition. We got a pen. That's true. Still it makes me kind of wonder. It Feel, feels less pen. zestful than the rest so far. Let's look at the pen. What is the pen? All right. Ooh. Kind green ape pen. It's like a pen with a uh, head of a... Kind uh, green ape? Ape, yeah. After we started out with the mean apes who are beating on the boar. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, so it's a pen with a ape head at the top. Very funny. A pen with a green ape head on one end. The ape has closed its eyes, a kind expression adorning its face. It seems to be med meditating. Oh, we can sell it for 1.35 coins. KR. Gold coins. Yeah. Still don't know where we can see how much money we have. But I guess that will come eventually. Yeah, when we buy painkillers. Yeah. Probably. Maybe we can trade a, a monkey pen for painkillers. Pain yeah. Okay. Cool pen. Now we can take notes. Yes, we can. How do you feel about the pause? Yeah, I feel great. I think next time we're gonna we're gonna get this body down. Oh yeah. From the tree, it's <laughs> going to be the body will be the fruit of the tree and with of our the labor. snake, mm -hmm. and we will fall. But I feel we've already fallen. Who knows what will happen yeah, we... next time? I make you play. <laughs> okay. Disco Elysium. This was fun. Mm. See you next time.